I'm live. Hello, hello. It's Saturday night. Hi, everybody. Saturday night, August the 15th. And here we go. I'm on just a few minutes early so that I could get organized. <laughs> Whatever that is. Don't know if that, if that's if that's even possible around here. But we do try. We did have a a great uh, art hop yesterday. Time for art hop that Mary Altier put on. And um, there was five girls in the morning and five girls in the evening. And everybody showed how they organized some things around their rooms, in their art rooms. But uh, this is a live art show. So if you're coming in and watching this at a later time, and you would like to speed through the boring parts, I invite you to do so. <laughs> in the meantime, I will be interacting with the chat room because that's how we work. We interact with the chat room and they talk and I talk and we chat and and we have fun, believe it or not. Oodles and oodles of fun. So I am early and I am planning on waiting a few minutes before I actually get into anything. We're going to be doing all kinds of art tonight and I thought we would catch up on a few things. Get some things caught up. And uh this is on some Happy Mail, and it's got bubble wrap on the back, so I'm going to take the bubble wrap off as soon as I get a hold of it. Somewhere, I'm sure I can get a hold of it. There we go. It peels off. Now, you can use this bubble wrap to use it to make some marks in your art, and then throw it away if you want to recycle it one more time, and I will probably do that. I will. It's uh, it's going in the garbage anyway. So if I use it in, in uh, to put some paint down, it makes really cool designs. The bubble wrap does. And it's trying to come off. There it goes. There it goes. And then these will be recycled in my art on my art pages. So that's good. This serves at many, many purposes. It was put on for my enjoyment and for the mailmen, the mail people. And then I get to reuse it again in my art pages. And I will. I'll probably be using it later on tonight. Just saying. So, uh, I do have some ideas for that bubble wrap. I've got some, hi Janet, i got some painty papers. Now, I wonder where this came from. Hmm, I'll stick it in here. I'm just a few minutes early, so I'm piddling. I'm piddling. Piddling around. So I've got this, uh, these painty papers. <laughs> Wasn't it? I know it. And some of the other girls had hundred, a hundred and some. So it was really, it kept building up. <laughs> Later in the evening, it got... <laughs> Yeah, they did. I've, I've got several emails and um, chat messages. <laughs> yes, I have, Teresa. I've missed you. But I know where you've been, so I did enjoy you yesterday. Yeah, she talked about my napkin flow book. It was, it was a hit. Yeah. Uh, I came up with that by accident, kind of like the tags, the, the envelope tags. <laughs> I did. It was fun. So um, I'm using up some, I'm just goofing off for a few minutes until everybody gets in here. And Teresa won the Coca-Cola book. Woohoo! Way to go, Teresa. These are 
painting papers that I have in my uh, in a notebook and I am just itching to paint on them and do some more stenciling with and and do some more work on them so that they would be more attractive to use because I stick them in the, the closet over there and I never use my painting papers. Hi Barbara. <laughs> I know it. I know it. Well, I watched all the way through to till the uh, till to Mary, and I was exhausted, and I had to quit. I went to bed, but but I had been up all day too. <laughs> I did sleep last night. I slept from about eleven thirty to two o'clock in the morning. Then I stayed up until seven. I just nap. That's all there is to it. I'm just a napper. <laughs> so uh, I'm going. I'm going to try to do some more work in this painting paper book and do more things in it. Um, so that it it's more. I will use it the highest number possible. Someone else would win <laughs> yeah you had the highest number i haven't seen anyone win for the lowest i have seen i have seen number one before i have uh in the drawings yeah yeah it's it's random it's a random number so uh i think i'm going to go ahead and just put this away for now because i'm going to get into a can of worms but this is my painty papers and uh, one day I want to get about 10 of them out and do some more painting on them and do some more, do another layer of stencils and stuff. And then maybe I'll be more apt to use these in my art. You organized your cans? <laughs> well, as long as you got the tape around the rim and don't cut yourself, then you're allowed. You can collage on them when you don't have any, when you're waiting around, don't have anything to do. Yeah. Okay, girls. You all behave. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'll save these for later. I am, I am kind of under the weather today. I've had a bellyache all day long. So, I'm just going to do little things tonight. Okay, take a picture of them when you're finished. That'll be great. <laughs> I thought the can, I love the cans and I love the, the snippet jar. And um, I like the way I did my stencils. And now I learned the stencils from somebody else. Uh, I watched somebody do stencils, but then I thought, well, I want to use my Happy Mail. And so I started sticking things in with the stencils. And uh, that way I can do an art page. And I thought I would do that in a few minutes tonight. Yeah. I'm, 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 I've been in bed all day. I just got up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tracy, you know how I do my stencil art? I have, um, I'm going to do one tonight. I'm going to do one here in a little bit, but it's like I have all my stencils in a uh, in a sleeve, and inside the stencil with the stencil, I've got a napkin and I've got some Happy Mail in here. So some there's some Happy Mail in here from you guys. This was the napkin exchange. Somebody sent me this. Where did I get this from? It's rug. It's a rug. Uh, gripper yeah and then i'd use all of these items on a page well i'm going to go back and do that again tonight i did that online last night uh, for a stencil a stencil thing yeah and then uh you can you anyway that's so we'll do this in a, in a few minutes we'll make one i'm gonna make one with everybody so that's fun. I love doing that because it goes with my, it goes along with my challenge of picking 10 things, you know, picking a few things out of my box and putting it on a paper, on um, putting it on a page and making something out of nothing. Yeah, that red, 
rig thingy is what it's, yeah, that's what it was for, a mark maker. And I think somebody sent it to me. Samantha's here. Hi, Candy. Where's Samantha? I don't see a Samantha. <laughs> Hi, USA Janet. Yeah, we got a UK Janet and a US Janet. Is Janet in here too? Am I not seeing everybody? Let's see. What's the difference between live chat and top chat? Top chat, some messages. Live chat, all messages. I must not have had it on live chat. Yeah, well, you can go back and miss. You can go back and, and watch it. It's not. It's real quick. Uh... You used that texture thing on jelly plates before. Good. And I have, I've done jelly plating, but I don't know if I've done it with you guys or not. Hi, Samantha. Welcome, honey. Here you are. She is Samantha Owens. Well, welcome, Samantha. I, I expect, okay, watching on your TV, so you probably don't have a chat thingy, thingy. I don't have chat on my TV that I can type in and chat with. It's, it, it rolls up on the side sometimes when I'm watching a video, but uh, I usually chat on my phone or my iPad. Top chat, and you see everything. Well, mine says, mine says, Top chat, some messages. Some messages, such as potential spams, may not be visible. Live chat says all messages are visible. So I have it on live chat. If you go up there and touch it, uh, that little, um, it's a little arrow thing, boxy thing. You touch it and it, and it explains which one's which. So we want live chat to see everybody. Teresa's husband's been sick. Oh, well, I haven't been throwing up, but I have, I have IBS. So you know how that goes with women. Use the textured wallpaper. Good. Oh, you've got a jelly plate, Janet. You know, we're going to have to do a Zoom sometime, Janet. And you come on with me one night. That would be nice. Hi, Dorinda. I, ex I expect I will have a few ex new people coming in tonight with the, the hop from yesterday. I never had that many people in my, in my chat room before. There were 74 of you in my chat room. So welcome, new people. And we are going to keep it light and simple tonight. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go too wild. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we could do a jelly plate session. So anyway, while we're waiting on more people to come in, it is, it's just 29 minutes after I'm going to glue these two girls on these tags. I'm still working on uh, some, and we're going to do two more, two more. We'll do two more tags tonight with the envelope tags. And, um, I am doing a tag swap and it, we're getting we're winding down. We're winding down on the tag swap. And I've got some tags in the mail today. So I'm going to show those here in just a few minutes. But in the meantime, I'm going to play with these two tags. And I've got a couple of things to glue down on them. So uh yeah, I I didn't post I didn't post that I was on yet to anybody. So We'll let you girls do that for me. Teresa's posting for me. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> it's 
it's been storming here. We've had some storms. And uh, the lights flickered a little bit. So I thought these these were two tags in my in my tag book and they weren't finished. So I thought, well, I'll just piddle with them and see what I could put on them to make them look good. I could put a piece of uh, ribbon on them. I got some snippets over here in my new my handy dandy snippet jar. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Barb. Hi, everybody coming in. The tag swap. Well, thank you. Um, we started it at the beginning of the month. And the deadline is kind of at the end of the month. So if you can get four tags together and get them in the mail this weekend by Monday, I might get them by the end of the month. And then you can be involved in the tag swap. And uh, you give me four tags. And if you can't make four and you can just send two, then send me two. And I'll send you two tags back. Um, so there's no really right or wrong, you know, on the taggy thing. But, uh, but initially, we the girls are sending me four tags. And then I will send them four tags back. That's my goal and the tags need to be approximately three by six dorinda's got a chandel okay so anyway um yeah mm -hmm. this is my snippet jar so i i put leftover uh things in it uh, that I use in projects and then instead of having to get up and put it away I put the little snippets in here and I can get them out at my fingertips for the next time well I've got yours I got yours today Cheryl I got your tags sometimes the mail is fast and sometimes it is just slow and there's nothing we can do about it. We just have to go with the flow. Whatever the male people want to do. <laughs> so anyway, um, we are doing a tag swap. So uh, that's a good thing. And we will be doing another swap later. Um Sometime I'll announce it in September. Maybe wait, let me get these done because I probably won't get these finished before the first week of September. Uh, seeing as we've got some new people wanting to play, and uh, so I'm going to allow uh, anybody who wants to play as long as they get them to me in a reasonable time. So uh, I put a little a little girl on there and then I put a little, little bit of lace so we're coming along with that oh the lace didn't stay I guess I'll use tacky glue hi Sana Sana's been in in under care she's under doctor doctor's care and uh and are you doing feeling better Sana are you feeling better she has depression, so uh, they were ta they were taking good care of her, and we're sending her well wishes. A bit okay. Well, good. I hope they can get your medicine under control and balanced. <laughs> Mary gave me a praise. Yes, Mary's sweet. I knew she would like my stuff. Well wishes to Sana. Yes. Uh, so hi everybody that's coming in. More of your piling in, piling in, <laughs> pile away. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm going to piddle tonight. I'm just going to piddle. I'm not going to rush. I'm just going to piddle and take it easy. I, I, uh, I have a, a little bit of a belly ache, so if I sit still, I'm fine. So I'm going to sit still. And uh, put a little tassel. Santa's going to make a stream, do a streaming. Santa, Santa does videos, so you can subscribe to Santa. She does cute little videos. She likes to do glue. Uh, she likes to glue, do a glue book, and uh, she nick she nicknames her books, <laughs> and it's really cute. And um, and she's going to start streaming live. Strawberry tea, yeah, I like straw. I like any kind of tea. I'm a teetotaler. Yeah, I like tea. Um, I've been drinking tea. Well, I guess I got to get the fabric scissors out because I can't make that pretty. <laughs> My scissors chomped it up really good. Let's try it again. There we go. I thought I'd make a little bow. Kind of like an award. I'll use my... So anyway, what I think I'm going to do here... Um, I started... Um, I'm going to open your, tag, your tags in a minute. I'm going to make... After I do this... I've got three or four things laying here on my desk that I would like to get finished and two of them are these little tags and we are going to make two more tags in the the in the envelope tags and i'll talk about that in a minute and then and then the other day i did a um snippet strip of paper that i learned on the internet and uh, i did post that video on my my uh, facebook page and for any of you new girls that want to come into uh, another Facebook group, you can post your art on your my Facebook group. The only thing is, is I just, I don't sell. I do, uh, I promote art and I promote your channels. And if you sell in your channels, that's per perfectly fine. But I don't do selling and, and um, uh, I do, everything I do is free. So, but we do like to post our, our art. So feel free to post your art and and uh, in my Facebook group. Uh, I had to pick and choose how I wanted to do how I wanted to do my group, and I, that's what I did a year ago, and that's the way it's been. So no big deal. So if anybody wants to join my Facebook group, all you have to do is ask to join, and I one of the girls will accept you. And then you're in in the group. It's a private group, closed group, so you're safe, and there's no soliciting in there. So, um, and I do have an address uh, file in my group. A lot of the girls do, so that you can mail to each other and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm gonna put these over here to dry. I did a few things on them, and I can do some more things. They'll be drying, and I have. I have a butterfly book that I started with. Um, I started it for, for Joyce Boring. Uh, she she comes in here sometimes. Joyce wanted to do a butterfly book. So Joyce Boring gave me this book years ago before I started streaming because we were pen pals. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Lori. Thank you, hon. And Teresa, thank you for posting for me. I know she was doing that. Hi, Joycey. And so anyway, this is this is the book that I've chosen to do my butterfly book in. And it's all butterflies in here. And um, so I found uh, three, pe three little butterflies out of some wallpaper book, out of some wallpaper that I had laying on my desk. So I'm going to put these in my, in my, 
butterfly book. So let's just, just go through and find an empty spot. See where we can find a spot. This little butterfly, you can't see. It's a punch. So I think I will outline it. It's just one of the little books that I have on my desk. I have a I have this book and I have an ABC book where you put ABCs in it, anything ABCs. And uh, I put that right there. And so uh, I have that on my desk and I have a couple other little books that I get into when I get in the mood. That's probably Joe. He's he's he 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 went to the store today. So there's one. But it's a cute little book to flip through. And I've got tons of butterflies in it already. It's amazing how many butterflies you can find. So we like to do little books in here, and I do have another little glue book that um, we've been working on. We're going. To, I'm going. To, I've got two more pages left in these two little books to finish up, and I got some things to put in there. So we'll finish those books up. And I got one more butterfly. Let's find a spot. So, there's that. And we'll put this away for next time. <laughs> it, I, he hadn't come in if he's out there. It might have been uh, the mailman or the delivery person. I did order some things this week. So... So these were two little books that I made online. And as soon as I get these two little books filled, these are little glue books, mini glue books, we will make another book. There's lots of ways to make books. And this was done in scrapbooking paper. And I just made it, I made it that long. And it folds, it folds in half. And then it has a little folding flap, okay, for the closure. And inside i did some fan folding i've got three little signatures one piece of paper and i i cut it in three strips and i fan folded them and then i tied them in with a piece of yarn simple little glue book so there's little pockets in here and we've been making pockets all month as well uh janet nash streams and she she's been making pockets I've got Braille paper in here and just odds and ends little pictures. There's a, there's a stamp and that's just a scrapbook paper. I've got some hook rug material in there for interest, a little fairy. So I got lots of little things in here and I have a couple of things over here that I thought I could put in. One of them was this. See if I can find it. I think I do have an empty page. Here it is. So I'm going to put that right there. <clears throat> and uh, these books are finished. Now I can always go back into my books and add more. But I have a basket over here of all the little books that I've made. And I've made lots of little tiny books. And they're just so much fun to, to make. And to play with. And this one has a closure on it of the yarn. So you can tie a bow on it. And I'm going to put this in the uh, finished. <laughs> and then one day I'll get the basket out. And I'll show you all of my books that I've made. I've made all kinds. So we can we can rest. put this one to rest. And then this is the other little glue book. And this was made out of a Philadelphia cream cheese box. So, I saved the box, and I, sh and I did made this online, and I cut, I cut the top, the e both ends off, and one side, 
off and then I left the, the one side for the, the spine. And I've got three signatures in here, and they're put in with rubber bands. So this, this little book, if you wanted to take the pages out for some reason, you could put more pages into it. If you want to make it like a little travel book, this would be a good size to put in your purse or something. So anyway, I've been gluing along in here, and I'm going to see if I have any empty pages. And I've got a variety of glue fibers and things glued down in here just for fun. I love it. I love gluing. I just think it's really, really cute. So I have I have this page. It's a glue book. And I've got a bigger glue book. So we'll get it out in a minute. This is the small and the medium and the large glue books. <laughs> and I got a little girl here, a little lady. So she'll go in the glue book. Like that. So I think we can retire this glue book as well. It'll go to the book basket. I gotta let that dry though, and and uh, and it's just simply made and tied with a piece of sari ribbon. So I'm gonna let that dry, and I'll set these over to the side. So anyway, uh, last uh, Thursday I started making cluster strips. Hi, Joyce. I just got the butterfly book out. <gasps> I was talking about you. Were your ears burning? Well, your ears are burning, <laughs> Joycey. <clears throat> I was talking about our, my, the little book that you made me, and I turned it into a butterfly book, and I put a couple of butterflies in it. So anyway, we have a, a strip of paper, and I saw a video on this, and I did post that video on my Facebook page. Uh Thursday. So if you want to go back and check that out, you're welcome to do so. But what you do is you get a glue stick and I don't normally use glue sticks, but this is the first time I have ever loved a purple glue stick because you can see the glue. The purple shows up. And the idea is to randomly put things down on your strip. In random orders and it's 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 a cluster and then when you finish the cluster you're going to have something like <clears throat> you're going to have something like this so there was the main strip and I, I glued paper down and um, and then, after the glue dried, I zigzagged it with the sewing machine. So, whenever you, these are clusters ready to use in your art. And so, the idea came from a, a jelly roll where you, or a fabric uh, snippet roll where you roll up fabrics and things. Well, this is, this is a paper roll. And I decided to do mine in strips. And lay them flat and store them flat instead of trying to roll them up. But the idea is you can take and snip off as much as you want of a cluster. And it's ready for your art. And you don't have to stop and do it. It's already pre-made. Pre-made. So uh, I just glued down random papers out of my snippet box. And I like to put at least two or three layers two or three layers <clears throat> and uh, this is mulberry paper and it's more like tissue paper it does uh, come apart when wet it does not like water so I so a glue stick does does fine for that one 
And I've got some papers that I've trimmed in uh, ink, ink the edges of. But you could add this purple glue on there and you can see what you're gluing down. So the idea is to make random clusters. Funny papers are fun. Uh, I got some funny papers. And uh, I'm just going to make two of these. And then I'm going to put them aside to let them dry. And uh, and then when they dry in, a, in an hour, I will sew them up. I've got my sewing machine up. So I can uh, zip them up on the with the zigzag and then after you you finish gluing and you glue as much as you want you can even go to some stamps and do some stamping on your cluster strips and it's taken me two days to, to remember cluster strips so you can still continue to mark on your paper Like that. And, 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 I mean, we're still working on it. It's not finished yet. I've got to do the zigzag on it. I stamped on this one, too. I like those blue circles. These are hole protectors, and they're real old, and the glue is off the back. So, I, I collared them uh, with some paint years ago. And now I can still use them in my art. And so here I'm using them. Finally getting to use them. Didn't know what I was going to use them for. But there they go. And I, I also have some um, paper dolls. And uh, I got these at a yard sale. And there's a whole bunch of paper dolls. And so I'm going to, I'm going to put one of these down for fun. And uh, it'll be on my on my cluster roll, so I might be able to use that in my art. You know, I don't know anything. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. So I'm going to I'm going to put this to dry, and we'll sew it up in a few in in an hour or so, and uh, we'll sew it up like this one. So I've got another piece of paper here and I'm just going to glue it down real quick and then we'll move on to the next little project that I have. All kinds of little projects. So you just randomly put your papers down and there's no right or wrong in any of it. No right or wrong. It's fun to do, and it and you don't have to think about a thing. Don't have to think about a thing. Random papers. And it's a good way to get to use all your stash, you know, to use some of your snippet things out of your stash. And you can theme these if you wanted to do one for Christmas or something. And then it would be cute to put it on top of a Christmas card. I don't know. In our art, it's your art. You can do anything you want to your art. Doesn't matter how big. And I was going to like maybe go over all of the top of it. 
but I really don't think it's necessary if you're going to if you're going to uh, use the sewing machine uh, because the sewing machine kind of hold push you know holds it together. So the glue stick is really quite enough. And I was thinking about putting a, like a little varnish top on it, but I don't think it's necessary. I think it's just too much. Too much. But there we go. So I'm done with this one. And I got a couple more holes to put on. Got some pink ones. So, and then uh, I'll find another one of these to put on there. Just for fun. So these two are going to dry, and we'll sew these up before the end of the nine, the night. And I have not been watching chat. <laughs> Ripping is good for the soul. Yes, it is. Yeah. Torn edges. Yes, I love, and I and I and I inked some of them, and you can still ink, and you can still stamp, and uh, there's. You know, the sky is the limit. The sky's the limit, guys. So these are easy to make. And if you just do two a day, you know, do two strips a day, you'll have you a bunch of strips. So I'm going to try to do two every time I come on. Sana's in a in a limited place where she can do anything right now unless somebody brings her something. And she's bored. I know she's bored. Okay, so that's enough of that. There you go. And we'll sit these over to let them dry. And we'll get back to those in a few minutes. So there. So there's our snippet strip box and i just used a bead box and sat in front of the tv and tore up a bunch of trashy paper that i had laying around and and uh and i could sit and do this in front of the tv too if i wanted to i guess but i do them with you guys so i have cluster strips that's what they're called okay and then the next thing i'm going to do Hmm, what's the next thing I'm going to do? Let's look at some of these. Yeah, you could do lace. You could do little tiny, uh, yeah, you could do buttons and you could do fabric. Uh, I do snippet uh, clusters with fabric and paper and doilies. Doilies are fun to do too. Just cut them, tear them up. And I probably got some stuff in the trash I could even use. I just tore out in the. I just tore all of these things out yesterday out of a, one of my books. These were these strips in the spiral. These would have been cute to put on my snippet. So anyway, hi, hi everybody in here. We're just doing a casual night tonight. Um, I received some tags in the mail today, so I'm going to look at these. I got four of them. So I've got about 10 more people to sit to receive yet. So if you haven't got them in the mail, I suggest you get hopping. Hop, 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 hop to the mailbox. And I have noticed that $4 is about a good price to send your uh, mail. Uh, this is 55, 55, 15, and 15. So this is this is a, do, a dollar and a half. So really, it doesn't take but about two dollars if you mail them this away. But if you take them to the post office, they're going to put it four dollars on it because that's what they do. I know Sana's missing her crafts. Well, these are from Barbara Moore and um, I'm sorry, Barbara Clark. 
And uh, she's in here, I think, isn't she? And so I've got some cool paper to recycle. And I will recycle this. And I will recycle the... I'll, I'll use those in some kind of crafty thing, too. Oh, you can put stamps on those on those cluster strips. That would be cute, too. Use stamps. So let's see what she has. She sent me... Oh, she sent me some love. She sent me some love. Look at that. <gasps> Is this a jelly plate? Is this jelly plate paper? Let's see, she wrote me a note. Here are a few jelly prints for you to play with. Enjoy. Plus four tags for the swap. One for you. I'm... Oh, you get to pick. Okay, she told me I could pick one of her tags. Thank you, Barbara. Here's her tags. And some more painting papers. These are leak prints. Do you all know what a leak is? It's a type of onion. It's a mild onion, and, and they're big. And the, she stamped, she cut the end off, and you get all these little, like, like the celery. You know, you can do it with celery, too. Cool. And then here says... You are loved. You are loved. How pretty. I love it. Okay. We'll definitely do something with these. Maybe we'll do it tonight. You never know. I'm always doing something. And here are her tags. So these are some samples of tags. If you have finished your tags, she's she has taken a card cardboard cardstock and she has put some stickers on here this is a sticker uh, it's a butterfly she has stamped some uh, prints on here and she's done some uh, stamping and paint oh great spirit my heart is open to you come sit by my heart Cool. That's by John Gray. It's a quote. So how nice is that? It's a magazine renewal card. Okay. Cool. Thank you. These are nice. The girls are going to love these. Now this has got some um, texture on it. I, I feel sewing machine. She has quilted a pocket on here. Look how cute. One of Janet Nash's pocket. And then she put little tags inside for the tag book. The tag has tags. Isn't that cute embossed? Tags. How nice. And then she sewed it on with the sewing machine. And then on the back side, she's putting some, uh, I'm going to say this is maybe stenciled on. Or she put some pretty paper down and then she put glitter glue around it. Isn't that pretty? Love it. That is beautiful stamped on there. Dream and wish with a butterfly. This looks like paper, pretty paper. And then she stamped on top of it a little bit. Give it some color. And it's got a little bit of a little shine right there. And the back side is beautifully done. I love, and she's doodled, looks like she's doodled a little, little bit. Oh, a digital kit. Okay, so she did these on the computer and then printed them out. Cool. And another art play. Oh, isn't that precious? That is beautiful. And, this, and she's put small little uh, tassels so that they fit in the envelope. That's nice. Digital art. Love it. I don't know. I have never done digital art. And this has got another little pocket on the front of it. And it's Alice in Wonderland. And there's a little side pocket right here. Art play. Isn't that cute? That would be a... Is that... Did you... Did you... Um, do you have a stamp with the art play on it? 
Yeah, it's a stamp because it's the same thing. That is cute. That's the effect of living backwards. It always makes one a little giddy at first. And she's got a queen of diamonds on there. Cute. It's the cards. That is so cute. Beautifully done. And look here. She's got just a little strip of, of fabric on the back. And it looks like newspaper. Just to give it some interest. Isn't that nice? And she's stamped in some gold stenciling. Very nice, Barbara. I don't know which one I would take. I could not. I don't know. I'll probably just take the last one. <laughs> Carved a stamp. You know, I've I've got my I got my uh, my erasers right here. I got my erasers right here to carve. So I'm I haven't done it yet. She carves December every year. Okay, maybe I'll do it in December. Yeah, if you all don't know the uh, some of the other groups that we watch, uh, the girls can write their uh, their names and their maybe their um, their link to their YouTube page. Because Joyce. Uh, which one would you pick, Joyce? Are you sending me any tags? <laughs> Let's see. Joyce would pick. I'm going to say either the Dragonfly or Alice in Wonderland. But if you send me some tags, I'll send you one. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Very nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fell asleep with your headphones on. I do that all the time, Sana. But um, Sana streams, Able to Rejoice streams, Barbara Clark streams, Janet Nash streams. So if you want to put your, um, your, your info in there so that... Um, Others can click on it. I know I've got a few new girls in here. So just to let you know, we hang out at Tanya McGuire's. We hang out at uh, Lisa Conley. And we hang out at Aunt Beck's Creations. And we hang out at Mary's. <laughs> and we hang out at Beth's. <laughs> and we hang out. We hang out at a lot of places. Yeah. Right side sitting at table. Are you on live? The right side I had dragon the dragonfly. Hi Nash. <laughs> Th thanks for coming in. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. Nash, I remembered. Nash is from Egypt. Do you stream or do you just like to watch? <laughs> Lisa streams. Yes. And yep. Yep. Put, put them in if you want to. Today is Saturday. <laughs> oh, it's, you thought it was Sunday. Okay. You were looking for Tanya, weren't you? Because Tanya streams on Sundays. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Janet's from, from England. We've got several that come in from all over the world. Isn't this wonderful, guys? I, my heart is warmed. My heart is warmed. Just watching. Okay. Well, enjoy. We're, we're goofing off tonight. We're, we're keeping it light and easy tonight. So anyway, these will go in um, the tag exchange. And these will go in uh, some, hmm, uh, some kind of artwork that I will do.
and I do try to put names on things because I will forget. So the next one we have is Cheryl Johnson. So Cheryl Johnson sent me some, look at this, I get to recycle this stuff. And the, and the ladybugs, you know I'll recycle that. Thank you for putting those in for me. And I'm pulling it out. And it's sticking to the envelope. <laughs> but I'll get to use I'll get to use some of this uh, in my art. I, I I I recycle. Okay, let's see what got some more some more washi tape. See, it's got paper on the back of it, but that won't bother me because I'll glue her down on something. I'll glue it down on something. I promise. So, let's just rip her open. I'm trying. Here it comes. Ooh. <gasps> ah. Oh, my. Oh my 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 my! Oh my! Oh, you went overboard! Look at the velvet tags! Oh, and she just elaborated with them! Oh, I love it! Oh, that is so cool, true Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl! Beautiful! So she has a she's used cardboard. From a cereal box or something because that's how thick it feels and she has uh, put some paint down and she painted the back sides black she's edged it with ink it looks like a gold green collar and then she's put down some flowers and she's put special delivery love it and she's got some uh, something that was 90 cents. And I don't know if it was a sticker or maybe some ephemera that she had in her stash. Cute, cute, cute. It's a triple cute, girls. And this one is a Victorian lady with some, looks like feathers in her hat. And it's got a date. And then she's got some real pretty lace down here. And, of course, it's it's got music paper on the back and some text paper. And she's inked it up really nice with a, an orangey brown. And it's also painted on the back. And she's put my name, the date, tag swap, one of four, little Cheryl's crafting, and the date. How neat is that? <laughs> Beautifully done. This one is done this kind of the same way. She's put some music paper and and textbook papers. She's ed done the edging on it. She's got a shell and a butterfly and a piece of wood uh, ephemera that is a violin. And it's a storyteller. That is so cool because the violin's playing the songs. And it's a story. Great. And if you want, Barbara, I can put that on the back of yours. I can put the tag swap in the, but you've dated it. They know it's a tag swap. <laughs> oh, and this one is so cute too. And this has got a garden theme to it. And it's got a little girl with a watering can. And they look like they might be stickers and things. Cute, cute. And I love the color of uh, the background. That is so nice. And, uh, again, thank you, Cheryl. Very nice. Very nice. So, those will go in the tag swap. That will go in the tag swap. I have to leave them in your envelopes for a while until I get all of them in. And what I will do is uh, when I get everybody's tags, I'm going to line them up on, well, I was going to use the ironing board, but I can tell you right now it's not going to be long enough. So I'm going to use the bed 
and I'll probably go down one side, down the bottom, and then up the other side to distribute tags. That's the fun part. I like doing that kind of sorting, so it's all good. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Cool, cool, cool. The girls are going to love it. And let's see. This is from Gail. Is Gail in here? Gail. Oh, Gail. Yeah, the tags are uh, three by six or thereabout. Some, you know, some people were doing two and a half by five and a half, and that's fine. I won't, it won't matter. And I've got a tag that's uh, four by five, and it's shorter and fatter, but it, it's still, it'll work. And then, then we're doing these envelope tags, and they are three and a half by six and a half. So, but they're, but they're, they match good enough. They match good enough, the size. So, this is, these are from Gail. Let's see what she's got in here. Oh, she sent me some stamps. Thank you, Gail. I can use the stamps on all of my things. Hi, Beth. I wanted to get these in the mail quickly. Happy Mail will be on its way soon. Woohoo! I'll do a Happy Mail page. P.S. The stamps to help for the postmaster. Thank you so much. That it, that will help. Uh, uh, I do have. Joe bought me some stamps. He bought me a roll of stamps, girls. A roll. Gold. Pure gold. <laughs> and uh, but these will help. I will use. I will get to use these. That will help a lot. Now is the time is now. Oh, how cute is that? She has decoupaged on the back. She's done some stints, uh, texture stenciling, texture paste. She's uh, glued all kinds of little bits and bobs on the background. Put this little sticker that's on puffy. Uh, it's on a puffy thing, and a little bit of a doily, a, round, a half of a doily, a real crochet doily, and it's probably antique with a button on it. And she's got the button wired. Well, there's a piece of wire on the button from the original packaging. <laughs> Vintage. How cute. And then she's got some little yarn up here for the tassels. Very nice. And then she put on the back, made by Gail. And she's got a little bit of a journaling area or something there. So how nice. And some more, some more uh, decoupaging. So, Gail, that is really cute. Thank you, Gail. She's still in here? I think she was here earlier. This one is cute. Life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. Look at that old picture down here. Isn't that neat? Looks like my grandmother's. And some more texture. Uh, texture paste. Some stickers, some washi tape, some fun foam, and more buttons, and an old timey ribbon up here. Cute, cute, cute. Thank you, Gail. And on the back, she did the same. She did some more uh, collaging on the back. It, that's just as pretty as the front. I love it. Very nice. Here's the third one. Oh. She put some beads, some beads on the front, and there's a bee. There's a bee and a smiley face. So this has got the other half of the dolly. <laughs> and this looks like she's put stickers down, but then she's used some uh, puffy paint around the edge of it, and then she put a star in the middle. I love everybody's designs. And how they come up with uh, different ways of applying things. See, the, I would have, I would not have left that edge loose like that. I would have probably smeared more glue on it. But the edge makes it a ruffly look, and it is so cute. So we learn from each other. <laughs> is this one mine? The one with the bee? I've already picked it out. <laughs> Very nice, Gail. Thank you so much, honey. And it's got some stamps. It's got a crab stamp, stamp on it. Look, it's a crab, hermit crab. And it's got a bees. It's got bees over here. Look at the bees. Oh, how cute. Cute, cute, cute. 
Thank you, Gail. That's just got so much on it to look at it. You could just sit and look at that for a long time. A little bit of washi tape. Doodling. Here's a bird. Life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. So that is so true. And I'm looking to see if it's a stamp or is it her perfect little handwriting. She's got nice handwriting. But it looks like it might be a stamp. Maybe not. I think she wrote it on there. Where is Gail? Did she, did she fall asleep on us? So cute with a bird, and then she doodled on the bird. She's got a little feather on there. See the little feather? Woohoo! And a button cluster. There's another little cluster. There you go. And it's got some jute on this tag. Here's one. It's it's got a Christmas theme. Look, Merry Christmas got some snowflakes and so she's using up her uh, extra tidbits in her box so she put some christmas paper a christmas sticker cute 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 decoupage there's a doily underneath there beautiful tag uh, tassel lots of interest there lots of interest very nice and then on the back, there's more Christmas and a stamp. And look, it's an Egypt stamp. I think that's an Egypt stamp. How funny is that? <laughs> cute, cute, cute. I don't know how she did it, a lot of this stuff, but wouldn't it be fun if we could go to a, a workshop together and learn all these little things? Adorable. Thank you, Gail, so much. Beautiful, beautiful tags, and I don't get to keep one. <laughs> how about that? So I'm going to put them back in her envelope. And I get to keep her envelope and use it in Happy Mail uh, because it's it's doodled on as well. I think she doodled on this. I think this is painty paper. I think it's a homemade uh, envelope. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Red. <laughs> Hi, everybody coming in. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. I got one more, and it's from Janet Nash, and she's probably fallen asleep. Fallen asleep. I should have did yours first. I'm sorry. I forgot. Janet Nash lives in England, and she has um, uh, mailing. They have mailing issues, and and so she wanted to send something and make it as flat as possible. So I love it. I love how she does it because she puts paper tassels on. I love I love paper tassels. I think that is just so cute. And then she put a little bit of washi tape on it, a little stamp. Isn't that cute? Look at all that pretty little stuff. And it says beautiful. And it is. It's just collaged. And then she's just got this little tiny bling down here in the corner. Very sweet. Very sweet. That's a 3D butterfly right there. And very nice. Very nice. And she put her name on the back of it. And this looks like um, the type of paper that you put around your fr picture frames. Uh, framing paper. I'm sure it's got another map boarding. What's it called? What's the... That paper called. That's what this texture reminds me of. Something you do a, a picture frame in. So here's the other one. Oh, how cute. Now here is another mat. Yes. Yes. Mat board. Yes. And I can read that typish. <laughs> I can read typish. Typeanese. So she made this one out of a magazine. With, it, with a paper tassel. 
it's gardening and you put a pocket on the front and then it has a stamp an oriental stamp and then she put some music paper on the back to sign her name isn't that cute and so simple and made with love aren't they neat and it's just as thin as it can be that is lovely very lovely and i'm going to guess that this little thing here goes inside this pocket it does it does she put a little bookmark in here and she made it out of music paper and stamped on it put another little tag and then it goes in the pocket it has to it just has to so here's another one and this is made out of cardboard uh no it's matte board i think it's matte board again live gently on the earth and she uses I, do you do do you have an old typewriter or did you buy these words uh in a kit and it's got two or three layers here of fabric and more paper and she's got real real dried flowers on here this is a real dried flower right there So anyway, that was three tags, and here's four tag, and it's just beautifully layered. I love everybody's style. This has a finger, uh, a thumb finger thing in it, so this came off of some kind of a, a book or a file folder that you could get your finger in, something ephemera, no doubt. And she's put her put her name on the back. And then the front is just a beautiful cluster with the thinnest shell bell ba button I've ever seen. It's a shell button. Beautifully done. So there's her tags. And then she sent a little piece of paper. Ooh, what's this for? Is this for Happy Mail art? And then she sent another little pocket. So here's a little pocket that she made. How cute. How cute is this? Look at this. It's got two pockets in it. I'm going to pull everything out of it. So it's made with a piece of paper. Was this a punch out or did you do this? If she did this, she did this on her own. I'm going to use this as a pattern. And then she stamped on it and all kinds of little cute things. And it's got my name on it, so it's mine. Woohoo! I love it. And so inside there's a bee and a puppy and another bee and another bee. <laughs> She's sending me all her bees and some more airmail stickers. I use those. I do use those. <laughs> I use them all the time. And then some women. Oh, look at the women. <gasps> power women. Look at all those women. I will use those in my power book. Thank you, Janet. And they're all in blue. Women in blue. The queen's even in there. Look, the queen. <laughs> it's I bet they're all uh, movie stars and actors and models wearing their blue that is so funny hi Joe hi. Joe came home so there is my happy mail for that and I think I don't know what this was for but I'm going to stick it in mine well spotted Beth <laughs> And the back is of her envelope is blue too. What are you looking for? Nothing. I'm just looking at that. So thank you girls for your tags. So now let's get busy and make some tags. Shall we? 
but I'm, I'm going to, but these, these are so nice and thin. Uh, well, that's a good, that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. I know, I won't, I know that the girls will be honored to even to get one from England. So there will be four happy girls right there. So these are going in a special spot so that uh, I don't get lost. In the tags received pile. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of tags um, using these envelopes. And uh, I'm going to get in the zone here, so I'm not going to pay attention to chat. So get you some coffee and get get comfy. Uh, <laughs> uh, did Janet ask me? I printed those words off, but I do not have the vintage typewriter. Okay. Okay, I uh, that that would be something fun to do if you had a, an old if you find an old typewriter in a yard sale or something, and then you could type your messages out. But now with fonts, you know, you can do it with the computer uh, and use different kind of fonts on your typing. So that'd be something I might do the next time I print my uh, things out is try to look for an old type style. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is look for a few things to put on my tags. And I'm thinking this is some happy mail. This is some painting papers I just did. That might look all right. We could do that. And I was going to get... There was some Happy Meal in here. So I'm going to use this piece for our tags. And I've got some wallpaper. We might be able to use a little bit of wallpaper. And this is some wallpaper. And I might be able to punch, do some punching. Punch a... Let's see if it'll, this is wallpaper, so I'm not sure if it'll go through it or not. We'll find out in a minute. It did. So we might be able to do a few butterflies on our tags. So that's good. I like that. And I got a piece of bubble wrap that I just put away so we can make some more marks on our tags. Of course, that's got bubble wrap on it, too. And I think I'm going to put some stencils on this. I've got just happen to have a stencil book right here. You all did really good on all of your tags. I am just really happy. We've got, this is fun. This is fun. I'll do this one. Won't take me long to decide. I picked the first thing I see. Pick the first thing. And I just happened to have some Game game pieces. <laughs> so we could put some game and uh, some kind of a something fun. You know, instead of music paper, it's games. So we might be able to use one of those. Got some other paper. Found a piece of leftover fibers. I like the galls. Maybe I can use some of that. So I think we got enough to play with. 
and then we can pick a word and I've got some words in my drawer so let's make a tag I'm going to cover the front of my tags with this paper but in, before I do I'm going to stencil on it and just so happen to have some lovely mousse lovely lovely mousse so I've got I've got green, orange, pink. I haven't used the pink yet. What color of mousse do you want me to put down? I've got yellow mousse. And I've got a copper mousse. This is like a rose gold copper. And this is almond, which is an off-white. I've got green. I've got hot pink. And I've got a purple pink and a, and a pink pink. And then I have a soft bronze, gold, uh, gold. This is gold, and this one's more coppery. So you want me to use the almond. Okay, I'll use the almond. These are my new muses. <laughs> they're, they're new. They're new, and I've made a home for them in, in my uh, drawer over here so I can get to them really, really fast. And easy. Fast and easy. And let's see. I've got some distress inks here. Aquamarine. Plum. Green. coffee these little ink pads i love to use them so i just re-ink them and and i i can use this little pad to ink my edges and it's so convenient and then you just put the lid back on and you're done you don't have to get the, get a great big ink pad out and i just use the whole the whole uh thing of it for the edge of my inking okay so here's the common And I'm going to use a palette knife. And this is a mousse. So it's like a texture paste. It's real soft and buttery. You can use it to uh, as a stencil uh, texture paste. Or you can use it uh, as a finger rub and rub it with your finger. And it has some kind of, uh, it's new to me, and I'm guessing it has something like a, um, a powder in it, whether it's baby powder, talcum powder, or um, something in it to give it a texture. So when this dries, you can feel it. You can feel the texture. So we're going to make a couple of tags and uh, I'm just playing it easy tonight. Just making it easy. Just doing real casual things here for fun. And I think I can do it one more time and get by with that much. But I have a, a book of painty papers. A three ring binder book. And I'm going to uh, start we're going to have to start doing it on my days off <laughs> I want to I want to go through all of my painting papers and add more interest to them and it might be gluing it might be uh, this type of stuff with stencils it could be uh, lids circles you know making marks on uh, using household items using bubble wrap it might be lots of different things that I could do. So with that, there's that. And I keep this moist inside. It does, and you can use it with water. So hi, Suze. So...
let's see. Do you think you could have it service Joyce? They're talking. That's fine. Okay. A typewriter. Oh. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to let this dry. And I am going to put this on here. So uh, let me let this over here to dry first. I guess I could use my heat gun. And I, I might have to just go ahead and paint these. And uh, then that, then I can use this as a part of the collage. So I'm going to put a little bit of, of gesso on it, on my envelopes. Because when I get the glue on here, it gets to be pretty wet. Pretty wet. Get my handy dandy brush out. Love this brush. This is a, a I don't know, is it two or two? It's a two, it's a one and a half inch brush, and it's plenty big enough. So I'm just going to put my gesso down first and I've got enough to do both envelopes so uh, we had a great time yesterday at the hop and if, if any uh, I'm sure all of you all know about it so uh, I think it'll be fun to go back and watch and uh, I think we need to try to fix it to where all of them are on one video. And I thought about that. So I don't know how we're going to work it. Hi, Colleen. Hi, everybody. So I'm going to add a little bit of collar. And I've got these three collars. So how about if I do... Maybe pick up some of the blues on the background, maybe. I'm not going to do a lot of color, just a little bit. I could do it with my, with this. <laughs> okay, so I need to get a plate that I can paint with. Look at that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of paint in here and you can add a little bit of water to it if you wanted to um, to uh, it won't be so um, oh I've got this let me use this woohoo I got a sponge let me try the sponge Brilliant. Brilliant. For our background. Then I'm just going to take the sponge and just kind of like edge it. Do my edging. And I've used this sponge several times. And I'll just keep it in the water and it stays soft. So looky there. And then since there is a little bit more paint on there, let me just dry this. I'll outline the back side. I'm just goofing off. Hi, Julie. How you doing, honey? Is everybody doing okay today? So I'm just going to flip these over and take my sponge and just highlight the... Uh, 
the edges of my my flap in the back. <laughs> Ta-da! Leftover paint. Won't hurt a thing. How about them apples? All right. Didn't get to use that. We'll save it for another day. Don't need it. We're good. So I'm going to dry this again. Making your third nappy flow book. <laughs> There you go, Barb. There we go. Did everybody see my my napkin slow book yesterday? I'll show it again if you haven't seen it. I made it up last year when I did a napkin swap. And it was just so practical to do it. So I did it. <laughs> show it again. Okay. Let me let this dry for a second, and I'll show you my flow book. Uh, I had a napkin swap, and I said, well, I'm, I want these at my fingertips because we use napkins so much. And um, so it just seemed logical. You know, we did the flow book exchange, and uh, Aunt Beck did a flow book exchange, and I didn't even know what a flow book was <laughs> last year, and I had never done a flow book exchange. And, and so um, the girl that I got, I said, we were supposed to put it in one of those boxes. If it fits, it ships, right? So when you make a flow book, it, it turns out to be like a little book. You know, it's like a little book and you can take all the, all the, the papers or can be removed to use in your art. And I said, well, if I make a book like this and put it in the box, there's so much space around the, the box so I took the measurements of the box and I laid and I gave her two inches of paper in the box I didn't put it in a book format because I didn't really understand it and I so it seems it stood reason to me to me that I could get more paper in it if I laid them all flat in the bottom of the box and so I asked the girl that uh, I was exchanging with I said I said, do you want yours in a book format or do you want your paper flat in the box and get twice as much? And she says, any way I wanted to do it was fine with her. She wasn't going to, you know, she didn't care. And so I, I piled up and I had, I had wallpaper in it. I had every kind of paper I had in my cupboards, all kinds of grafting paper and stationery and cards, every, all kinds. And I put it in that box. Well, then when I, when I got my flow book, I said, oh, so this is how it works. <laughs> so, so I, so I sent her, I made her a little homemade book and I sent it to her extra. And I said, I know I didn't do the flow book right. I said, so this should make up for it. But she never did. She didn't even write me back. So I guess she got it. <laughs> so anyway, the flow book, you know, was is a book that you can get into and get anything out of it that you want. 
So I did the same thing with the napkins because I wanted all my napkins at my fingertips to use. So if I, I have this ribbon wrapped around three times on the spine of this book, and this is just some elastic type ribbon. It's not real um, tight like string or it's not a rubber band. So it's, it's soft on the napkins and it won't tear your napkins. So you put your napkins in and make a signature. Okay, they're in half. And then when you go through your napkins, you can pull out a napkin and and use it in your art just like that you pull it out and and then you can add more napkins to it you know later on if it's get empty you know you start you can add some napkins to it so they go under this really soft little uh lace and it's an elastic lace it's something elastic -y. so it's probably with something for like an, uh, a nightgown or something I'm thinking so there's one signature and here's another napkin and you can you can continue to add some napkins to it and make it as big as you know as long as you got room in your book and you do you'll have room so here's some more napkins that are in here that I can just look through page by page and decide if I want to use it or not there's the middle of this signature and uh and the other side of the napkins so it's easy to get to and uh, I'm thinking about uh, doing one for seasons because uh, I've got enough fall napkins and enough Christmas napkins to do a fall and Christmas too and uh, but these are all in here and uh, you know so this is a napkin flow book and you can get your napkins out and you know whatever you need and it's and I leave it on the desk over here and then I just got these napkins the other day and some happy mail from Deborah Brown she sent me this and I love this one maybe I should put a little piece of napkin on on the on my tag let's see what colors would look good I'm using this and this and a little wallpaper so let's see if there's another napkin in here that would look good on there for contrast maybe some of that one so uh, so anyway and if you have uh, these dinner size napkins here see the, these open up this way so you could get you a tall book and and have and have these going you know at, from the bottom and up, go up go up in a different direction if you had a little tall book you could make your a, a, make a book hi Joe Joe brought me presents well I didn't know whether you needed any of that or not. I do. I do. <laughs> I just threw I just threw one away. Well, I got you some of that. Ooh. Okay, girls. We're going to use some double-sided tape today. Present. And you have oh, you brought me these. Were these the herb natural? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. these aren't the regular ones. Okay, that's fine. Originals. Well, okay. Thank you, honey. And some gesso. What a bargain. This is usually 11 bucks. Wow. Because it's been opened, I guess. Yep. Yep. You have to check it and see if it's got a. Oh, that's no problem. It's, I'll it's pull. That same stuff. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's Dally Roddy, Rodney gesso for four bucks. Woohoo! Half price, half price, half price sale. So there's my flow book. <laughs> Barbara's making flow books. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. 
I keep getting, oh, they're talking in the live stream hop. Okay. They're talking about what they want to do next. They're so excited. <laughs> Mary put a, a, a message group in Messenger for the live stream hop. And it's just the girls that streamed are in the messages. And they're talking to each other about what they want to do next month. So I thought that was cute. <laughs> You're right. This is honey herb. This is peppermint. That's fine. That's, we'll no, use them. But I didn't think he's back. This is a bigger pack. But I didn't see any. Well, I haven't tried them. They might be just fine. Yeah, well, they won't be fine if you take. They can't take them back. Them I know, but we'll eat as much as we go through cough drops. Is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's arguing about the cough drops, girls. Well, hi, Sabrina. I tied it. I just wrapped it around and tied it in a knot. No big deal. No, mess, no fuss. And just tied it in a knot. And then I had, right here's the knot. And then I tied it in a bow and let it let it flip flop right there on the edge of the book. And then what? And then I took another piece and tied it around the middle, middle and tied a knot in the back. And I put a couple of beads on it. Then what'd you do after that? <laughs> Y'all ever heard that? I'm Norma. That kid that always says, and then what'd you do? And then what'd you do? And then what'd you do? And then mom says, go to it's, bed. It's, it, it, it is. It's, it's some kind of little stretchy lace. It's got a stretchy yeah. to, to it. So it's soft. What I'm trying to say, it's not like a rubber band where it's real tight and it's going to tear your, your napkins. But this is a lace and it's real delicate, like like it might be for lingerie or a nightgown type of, of a lace. I got it at the Goodwill store. But you can use any kind of, you can use yarn, you know, yarn would be fine. So anything you have, and then I put a napkin on the front and the back, and I left the inside. Uh, the inside of the book is like the child. It was a kid's book, and I liked I liked that, so I left it. <laughs> I thought it was cute. So there's no right or wrong on how you do your book. Do it any way you can. Yeah, a satin ribbon would be fine. Yeah. I was just explaining you that I wanted it to be soft so that um, it wouldn't tear your napkins. It's all because your napkins are, you know, and I go ahead and tear off the white parts off my napkins most of the time, the backings, and you have twice as much room. Now there's another job, sit in front of the TV, tearing napkins off. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Sandy's from Australia. Welcome, welcome. So anyway, we're finishing up two tags, and we've gathered up all of all, all of the little things that we want to use on the on the uh, tags. And I'm going to tear some of this napkin apart. I might be able to do it around these flowers. If I hold my mouth right, you know I can do it. You know it. I can do it. So that would be cute on a tag. Give it some interest. There's a little bit there. And I want to use this. And I'm just going to tear it. It's coffee dyed paper. It's cute. Put that there. Put that there. So now it's like a little puzzle. I'm going to lightly lay things down where I think I might want them. I was going to use this the other day and I forgot. I forgot. So I'll use it today. So I'm just uh, collaging. Collaging. Just 
just for fun. So I'm in the uh, I'm in the um, the zone here, girls. I'm in the zone. I'm a gluing down. So I could leave this open and use it for a little pocket. Couldn't I? I think I can. I'll make a little little tiny pocket there. Got a little piece of that. Got a piece of that. Got a piece of that. Got a piece of that. Get another piece of this. Just a little something for interest. And then I've got a couple of butterflies. I haven't got to the, uh, I might not use these two things, but I will use a butterfly. I can put him down somewhere on the pocket. And I got some ladybugs. So they can go on the flower. A little ladybug. That'll work. And I got some of these flowers. I don't know. I might have to just put, maybe I'll put that on the back with the butterflies. Two more butterflies. And then I've got this yet. Not going to have room for it all. Good night, Janet. <laughs> Thanks for staying awake this long. So I'm just going to... And this is dried, and it's got texture on it. So I might just have to use little or little or pieces, little or pieces. I just like doing this stuff. So there I've got a stash for the, this one. So I'm going to take it all off and I'm going to glue it on. So I'm going to take my fan brush. Everybody with me? Am I doing okay? I'm going to add a little glue. And I'm going to start putting a few pieces down. Just for fun. For having fun. going to do that and then I'm going to take a little glue and make an L for my pocket my gosh have I been good girls have I been good every day look what you bought me Oh my goodness! It could be my new, you know what? It's gonna be my boho, boho box for my boho beads. I mean, we're gonna do boho beads soon. Cool. Thank you, Joe. And I definitely need these. My rubber bands are like ten years old, and they're all dry rotted. Look at them. Well. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious, Joe. And that was 
My goodness. That was yours, and here's the one to the girls. Aww. That's outside right now, girls. Yep. Right now, that's my front yard. Isn't it neat? It's a rainbow. It's a big rainbow. It just couldn't see it all. It might even be bigger now. And the, and the sky is red, which is kind of the rainbow's gone and the sky's uh, orangey. Orangey. Oh, it's a warming gift. Hi, Seth. She spins. Hi, she spins. I do fiber art too. <laughs> do you do fiber art? I did I did a whole month of felting in January. If you want to go back to my, my videos. If you like to do felting, at, does she need to go out or she wanna be fed? They haven't been fed. Okay. So anyway, I'm in the middle of these tags. Uh, she spins. Welcome. So I'm making some tags. I'm going to glue this butterfly down on that one. I got some of that down. Let's see. I can put another piece of this on. Oh, God. oh, you're so good. I got something for you all. He bought toys for the girls, too. Now, I'm going to take this and go on the inside and make sure I, I'm because I want to keep it a pocket. Yep, it's okay. I think it'll be okay. Belting is a waste of good spinning fiber. Okay. <laughs> well, let me show you some of my spinnings. <laughs> I spun this. <laughs> I, Lisa Conley taught me how to spin. And I, spin, I did spin this. We had a spinning class. <laughs> I'm, hi, Melissa. Oh, shoot. You didn't have to delete it. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, we like fibers. Well, oh, I tell you what, she spins. Is your name Juanita? Um, maybe I need to show you some of the beautiful things I have done with my felting. So maybe I can twist your arm. I'm going to get my fabric journal out. How to make a fly, flow cover. Uh, okay. Okay. She's got a channel. Okay. Uh, she, she spins. I will look that up. Now, um, but I have done some. I have had a lot of fun with my felting. Let's put it that way. I've had a lot of fun with it. And let me just, just, just two little, let me just show you two pages of it. I have to go slow today. Maybe I can twist your arm. This is my, this is my fabric journal. It's a journal. It's a book made out of fabric. And this is where I keep all my felting. I felted this. Show me your stuff, woman. Okay. You guys won't care, will you? Is she really? Well, good. Well, welcome, honey. Welcome. We're real goofy in here. So, you know Joycey. So, you know how we are, right? <laughs> so, this is a scenery. And I put it on an antique old wool blanket from my grandparents. They used to keep this in the car. This old blanket. 
and I will not ever use this old blanket because I live in Florida. So I cut it up in pieces and I felt on it. So I did this one. We would pick a random picture and I'd do it. Or the girls would tell me what to put on it. They'd say, do a tree. And I'd do a tree. They'd say, put a swing in the tree. So I put a swing in the tree. So here's, 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 this is all felted with the needle. I'm telling you, it's fun. I got a rabbit and a deer. And I'm a uh, beginner felter. And I did do, here, here's my koala bear. I felted him, and he's a pin. He's on a pin back. So I could wear him if I want to. And then these were wet felted, wet felted flowers. And then I have this on the front of my journal, and it is uh, blinged up with some old jewelry. So, so here's a pen. This is felted. It's a heart, but it's a nest. So you, I got eggs in the nest. You can wear that on your coat, except I don't wear coats anymore. Here's a small version of the trees. I liked it so much I did another one. I got all kinds of things in here. Here's another one that we did together. I did them all online, too. The whole month of January, I did felting. And I, we, I like mixed media. And so, I don't know. We just, went, we just went crazy. Just roving wool. It's the wool, you know, the roving wool. It hasn't been spun into fibers yet. And then, then, then I got my drop spindle and I can turn my roving wool into, you know, yarn if I want to spin. Uh, merino. It's all soft and not itchy. None of it is itchy whatsoever. So, uh, we've, we've been busy. And then we, this one here is bringing me some happy mail. <laughs> with a bird and then you have to uh there's another girl in my group uh sharon lombard and she felt animals and figurines and she has gone rogue with it she loves it she absolutely loves it i bet she does joycey i bet she knows a thing or two and uh, but I put beads in here because this this is an eagle and he stopped he swooped down into the river and got a fish. So he's got a fish on the bottom of his feet. So but these were a few things that we've done and and I and we did them for the whole month of January. If you want to go back and see my videos, this one was one of my favorites because of the rabbit. I worked hard on that rabbit. To get it to looking right. So anyway, back to our tag. Rabbit trail. We got one more tag to do. And I am going to put um, eyelets on it. So let me put some more glue down. But um, I'll be glad to show you anything else that if you got, you know, if you're interested. Yep, all of January's. And then I, in uh, February, March, I did pottery. All kinds of pottery. So we busy. We get bu we stay busy in here. The girls the girls put me up to it. <laughs> I'd say, okay, girls, what do you want to do next? You know, boom. So we like to do all kinds of mixed media in here. And um, I love it. I love it. I keep going back to that one. So 
So we have a lot of fun. That's what it's all about. Having fun. So I'm collaging a tag. And we're going to put a few things on it. Where's my flower? There it is. Get it on there. Got to have a little flower napkin. So I've got all kinds of torn paper. I got a piece of washi tape. Panty papers, punched outs. Okay. And then on the back side, I'm going to try to do something. Something. Don't know what. But I'll do something. That's where it's going. Uh-oh, Teresa's got some. I've had thunderstorms in this area, so it's not it's it's cleared up right now. But I had some pretty nasty thunders earlier. They flickered the lights and everything. Got another butterfly on the back. Let this dry. I'm going to put an eyelet on it next. Okay. We got happy mail on there. Cute. A little more paper, painty papers. And just a little something, something on the back. And another butterfly. Like that. Okay. Samantha's in the northeast corner of Oklahoma. Yay! We got girls from all over the world today. All over the world. Isn't that awesome? I'm going to dry these.
So we want to make sure we have a pocket here that's not stuck down and a pocket here. And I've got in my possession in my little possession I've got some little tags like right here and I can add these to my pockets like that so that'll be cute put a tag in the pocket put the tag the tag. The tag has a tag. Okay, so next thing I want to do is my my uh, eyelets. I have a little some kind of crocodile thing here, whatever it's called. And I've been doing having pretty good luck with it so far. So let's see how we can do this. We want to put it at the top. Uh, about right there. Be fine. And again over here. That's good. And then we want to get some eyelets. Uh -oh. Let's get some eyelets. It doesn't really matter what color, I don't think. And I flip them over. I put the, I put the, um, this will go in the, into the eyelet. If it stays, I, that'll be fine. And I put it into my crocodile upside down. And then I squeeze. <laughs> And I've got a fine little eyelid on there. It looks great. And if it doesn't cramp all the way, I use a pair of pliers to help me squeeze it a little bit tighter. And these are just for paper. These are just for looks, these eyelets. And this hole needs a little assistance. That's not going to help. That's not going to help. So if the hole isn't quite big enough, you can take and just push a little pencil. Just roll it. Don't push it too hard. Just a little stretch. Not all of it. And then I can get this eyelet through there much easier like that. Tip of the day. I'm always giving pretty good tips. Then take and squeeze it real hard. And there it is. It's on there. And it's through three or four pieces of paper, too. And that looks great. So that's all I'm going to do with that. I lay it back down in here. Somehow, it goes in there, barely fits, but it goes in there, there's that, and then I can put some tassels on, excuse me, I can put some tassels on my tags now, and I'm just going to go to my snippet jar and see what I can find. There's some blue, some blue right there. This is a uh, real heavy rug yarn, and it's blue, and it looks great. So there's what I'm using. That's what I'm going to use. So I can take some of these. Go through the hole. 
and give it a little trim tie a little knot and we're done but we're not done with the tag we're just done with the tassel mm -hmm. so let me get another piece in here we got a few more things left to do on our tag there's always something cute cute tag I like them so I've I've got a little extra yarn I'll put back in my snippet jar so you can put all your leftover little tidbits in here love that now this one needs a little piece of a yarn on it this one's got some something so but this one needs a little piece So it's getting a little tassel. Everybody's getting a tassel. And this red yarn is a thicker than the regular yarn. It's cute. Looks good. So we can take that piece out now. All right. Now I've got uh, I've got this little stamp I thought I would use. And I think I'm going to put it right up here. Like that. Thank you, Laura. Did you survive after last night, Laura? <laughs> I had to go to bed early. I was, I'd been up though since the morning. I watched all of the morning ones and, and, uh, and I think I was coming down with a little bit of a virus too. And I didn't even get to watch Mary. I had to go to bed. I was so tired, but it was so much fun. It was really, really fun. So much fun. So I'll put a little little interest interest there on that little tag. Put some on the other side if I want. <laughs> Hi Malaya. <laughs> I did too I did the same thing. I had I was up uh I think I got up at four yesterday. This morning I was up at two. Yeah, I did. My days and nights are all mixed up with all this COVID. We don't go anywhere, don't do anything, so we just stay up, and there's no reason to get up, so we sleep, get stay up late, and sleep in. That's what we do. So I've got a little extra tag in this one, and I'm inking the edges of it pretty nicely. Like that. And then this one too. This was a tag off of a shirt and I put uh, scrapbook paper around it and it's hard it's really it's really hard it's really nice to feel in your hand and I repurposed the tag it was an old tag I have no idea what it came off of but uh, it was just a little piece of cardboard and I just wrapped it and uh, so now I'm using it it was in my stash So this will go in here and I want to see if I can't ink up the edges of my pocket a little bit so you can see the so that you can sort of see the pocket there uh-huh like that 
just a little more for interest. I don't know why, but I say that all the time now. Somebody, somebody was doing that on their show, and and I've been doing it ever since. <laughs> we'll just do this for interest. <laughs> do a little extra. Do a little extra. So, uh, this is almost almost done, but we're not done yet. You know what we got to do. You know what we got to do last, don't you? You know what's next, don't you? After I finish all of this. You know what else? You know what else we're going to get to do? That was a cute. Uh, Mary showed a, a, a three ring binder and she put wax paper in it. And then on the wax paper, she would. Uh, put double-sided tape on an image and put it on the wax paper and it come up, would come right off of the oh no she used um tacky tape it was tape that didn't have a permanent stick to it it was like uh, it's called tack tape and it wasn't it was only half the as amount half as much sticky that doesn't sound right but it didn't have the full amount of sticky like it would on double-sided tape so when you t uh put your tape your image down in your on your wax paper it was easy to come back off and then your images were there at your fingertips to use in your art that was cute i keep all my images in boxes and stuff that was a great idea so here this one has a tag and this one has a tag and then we did the back and oh, i was going to ink this up just a little bit a little bit and now we get to put something in the envelopes so we're going to get to load them up so let's see what we can find to put inside And, you know, I just happened to have my napkin journal here. So maybe we could put a little piece of napkin in there. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. Here's a, here's a little piece of napkin. And I can just fold that up. Just like that. And I'll go in that, na in that, in that envelope. Yeah, yeah. Just a little something, something. So whoever gets this tag, scissors. whoever gets this tag, this tags, they'll have a little surprise inside because we've got an envelope. Okay, we got that. So we can put this back in our bookcase. And also, speaking of wax paper, somebody sent me some um, a, a little piece of wax paper that fit in my envelope. And on the wax paper were stickers. And they peeled right off so I could use them. So if you, you know, if you have a lot of stickers like I do, and you don't want to give, I, I give away stickers sometimes, especially when I was doing bingo prizes, you know. And I wouldn't want to give a half of a sheet away or if one was missing. I wouldn't. I thought that was rude. But if you take a bunch of picture, stickers and put them on a piece of wax paper, it looks like, you know, you're getting a whole sheet of something. So that was cute. And I just so happened to have a sticker book that uh, Glenda gave me. So uh, maybe we could put a sticker 
on our tag. These are going to go in the tag. Or I've got some stickers that I could put inside. Let's do that. We could do both. So let's look for a tiny sticker. That will look good in this corner right here. Has to be tiny. Like that. Found him. There we go. So we put stickers on there. That's good. Our tag's moving along. I think it's coming along just fine. And I do have some other stickers I might be able to put inside. Like something, something goofy. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just never know. Just a little something, something. There's some stickers. With our napkin. And I've got another box here that has ephemera in it. You like Goofy? Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I could put a stamp in there. Look at that. Got some flowers. Let's see. I got some more stuff in the bottom. Let's go down to the bottom. That's where the good stuff is. Because I, I could put some flowers in there. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Get some flowers. I think I have another stamp. Make them alike. Gotta make them alike. We don't, we don't know who's going to get them. I only have one stamp. Nope, I got more. Another stamp. And then I've got some... i got some little people. We might as well put some little people in there. We'll put these two. They're like... Okay, we got little people... We got flowers, we got stamps. That's a nice little tag, if you ask me. So there's our tag. I got a good tag box. You got a tag box? <laughs> Thank you. I do. And I talked to her about that other stuff. Yeah. And she said, well, that's not really what that's for. Okay. Um, so these tags are done. All I have to do is sign them. And I can do that. I can sign them too. You want to sign your name on them? No. You can. No, you do all the work. Tag swap. 2020. How about that? Don't put the date on it. I did. Oh, what's... It's 2020 tag swap. I'm not going to do another tag swap this year. Oh, yeah. So August what? Four, 15th, yeah. 15th. But I will probably do another exchange. Okay, Jojo, sign Joe, sign Joe. <laughs> mm. So these will go in my tag book. And these will be two more tags. 
and I will I will not be playing favorites when it comes to the tags. I'm going to mix them all up, and everybody, you know, the tags will be given out. So you might get one like this, and you might get one like this, or you might get one like this. <laughs> They're they're all they're all different. They're all different. So, uh, but they were all made by me. So that's the main thing. They're all beautiful, ain't that right, Cindy? Everything is beautiful, right? That's really <laughs> a good way to put it. Everything is beautiful. <laughs> Hi, Julie Parker. How Hi, are Julie. You? Okay, honey, can't stay. Waves, waves, waves. So now, what I want to do next, it's 8.42. I would like to do a stencil art. I want to do stencil art. So, I'm going to get my stencil book out, and we're going to go through here and see if anything catches our eye. Can you all see? Yeah, this way. So, uh, we can go over this way just a little bit. I got I got a lot of stuff over here, I know. So anyway, uh, if something peaks your eye, shout it out. Uh, this is one, two, three. Just shout me out a number and I'll do it. <laughs> Let, rainbows are good. Okay, where did you see a rainbow? Didn't see a rainbow. A Jersey crafter. Three. Okay, I see a three and a two. Three and a two. Okay, we're going to do three. Uh, this is a stencil and a few pieces of Happy Mail, believe it or not. Happy mail and napkins and stuff laying around in my art room. And so they got put into this sleeve to use on an art page. So everything comes out of the sleeve. And right. we'll put it on an art page. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I did it last night. This is the one we did last night. And I went back and added the ribbon. Because it was laying on my desk. Okay, so I'm going to get a new page. And this is what we're going to use. So I'm going to look at what we have. I've got some I've got some blue paper. I got some more blue paper. This is scrapbooking paper. This is just copy paper. <laughs> I got two napkins. This napkin and I've got this napkin from my kitchen. And it just happens to have some kind of a butterfly on it. So, we can do something. We can do something with that. And some hearts. I've got a little pocket of goodies inside. Oh, good. I've got a jar. And a little card that says smile. And I know that this was given to me by some happy mail. Somebody, somebody, one of you guys gave it to me. Because I don't remember buying it. So that'll be cute to put on our page. I've got a piece of ribbon. Uh, this is a seam binding ribbon. But it's pretty. What was the book? Beth took all this out of my stencil book. 
it was a three ring binder these are all my stencils and uh i showed it last night who were you <laughs> i'm teasing but it's a it's a it's a sleeve protector with a piece of paper in there so you've got a stencil on the front and a stencil on the back on all of the pages these are all my stencils and then when i put the stencils in i found happy lots of happy mail and i said i want to use my happy mail so i was putting happy mail in each of the pockets if it was flat you know flat stuff and i got i got that in a pocket letter here's some bubble wrap you know there's all kinds of goodies in each of the in each in each sleeve there's all kinds of goodies and so the idea is to make a page an art page out of just what you have in your hand and that's kind of one of my challenges that i like to do because i love doing it i love having a blind item and then i make something out of it spontaneous spontaneous art thank yeah. you joe and so I, I I hate it that I get all this happy mail and I forget to use it all. Hi, Nana. And so so at last year when I first did it, I'd say, okay, girls, holler out a number between one and fifty because I had fifty stencils, fifty pages. I got twenty five in this book and twenty five in the other book. And it said on the it can sit on the shelf, easy to get to, easy to flip through, and you can still see your stencils. And I have swiped the stencils out of this one, and they're they're in the front, they're up here, you know, in the front of the book. So so uh, I use it, I use it, I use it. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, we. We were running a race last night for sure. Yeah, yeah. And so so it was a game and you didn't know. I don't know who. It, this was before I started writing names on the back of Happy Mail. <laughs> so I don't. And then I would put a word in it, you know, and I've got this one's got a piece of cardboard in it. Um, this is another napkin some, and these, these little uh kindergarten stencils i had in my stash i had them in the bottom of the stencil drawer never used them but here when i pull 13 i'm going to be using them and and here's a brand new one that i haven't even used yet and i don't know if i bought it or if somebody gave it to me i couldn't tell you norma gave it to me i started writing names on it so so she's probably wondering what well, wonder what she did with that stencil <laughs> there it is <laughs> Just tell you, you here were, it is you were following the arrows and you never did so find we did do this for quite a while and some of the numbers are missing because we did them as art as an art page and so um this was from last year you know this was happy mail this little bag was happy mail these little flowers were uh from a a, a nine pocket exchange an atc pocket exchange i've got some fall leaves in here I, if it sort of went together with the colors i put it together and this was so much fun doing because i love sorting i love sorting stuff and so you just kind of go with the flow <laughs> like that flow book so this is my stencil art, but I've been doing this for a long time. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to start with my page and I've looked at everything that I have uh, in this stencil. I've got some textures I'm going to be putting down and I think I'm going to put down some paint first. How would you like some coffee? Oh, that would be great. A new coffee. Classic. That'd be awesome. I haven't had any today. So this has got smile, hope, laugh, faith, peace, and dream. Isn't that what we were just saying about who said that we need a little bit of love and yep. and ha ha smile in our world? That was I, just I a second ago. Yeah, I just said her name. <laughs> Joyce is good. I got her own little happy mail in, in her room. <laughs> Yay! Use it. 
Don't keep it. Use it. Oh, you're talking about your cross. Did you hang your cross up? I sent out crosses last earlier in the year. So, yes. And this is my favorite thing to do is to create from random things. So, a magazine holder. Mm. So, um, I'm going to start. And this is how my brain works. I'm going to, I like to use a little gesso on my pages because it keeps things from bleeding through to the other side if you use a marker or something. But just a little bit of gesso. And this is just an XL um, Walmart mixed media book. And I'm going to add some color. And since I have a lot of blue, I'm thinking maybe yellow on the background. I have yellow out. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow and streak this white. I could put a little bit of orange in it too. And I'm going to get my handy dandy uh, gesso brush. <laughs> handy dandy. I love it. I used it earlier. So um, I'm just going to spread this paint and gesso around on my page. And I do have a, uh, a protector. A page protector. And this is a good idea. Teresa Church gave me this. And it's it's kind of got a, a copper uh, wire in it, something, and you can paint on it, and you can wash it off. But um, I haven't washed it off yet. But it helps protect the edges of my papers in my book so that the next page won't get any blue, glue or paint on it. It stays on this page. And you can use a piece of newspaper or wax paper or wallpaper or anything. You can use anything for that. But I can reuse this over and over. And it's and it's I love it. It 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 I fold it in half and stick it in my next book. But the thing of it is, is I work in so many books, I can't can't keep track of it. But I'm doing a pretty good job with it. I'll leave it on my desk. And I use wallpaper for my drop cloths now this is just sort of hit and miss and it's fine I am going to dry it real quick I love sharing ideas and doing things and coming up with new ideas it's fun you know it's really really fun and I could sit here and this, I'm on a stool. I could sit here all day and play. Flap and glue pick pen. Okay, Joycey. I understand. Take care. <clears throat> I'll see you in the chat room somewhere. Yeah, we like prompt games. Becky does prompt games, and Lisa does prompt games, and Mary does too sometimes. And I do too. I do prompts. Now, last year I did bingo, and we had Hammy the hamster running around in the cage, and uh, he would draw the numbers, and we played bingo, and then at the same time we did a prompt game. It was kind of fun. <laughs> We're going to have to do that again sometime. So, I'm liking that. Shall I just make some strips? I don't have anything in mind. Nothing, nothing in mind at all.
if you have any loving suggestions, shout them out to me and I'll do what you ask. I'll try to do I'll try to do what I can. You know I will. Except I'm not going to stand on my head. Okay, Suze? <laughs> so I got a few of these. This is just plain uh, scrapbooking paper, but isn't that beautiful? I love that color. Spoils need to death. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. He likes to break quarantine too. It was so funny with all this quarantine stuff going on. He told his mom, you know, that she just couldn't go out to the dollar store or to, to Walmart. Anytime she wanted, she had, to, she had to stay in and be quarantined because she's 85. And he said, you don't need to be out there. You'll, you know, you'll catch it. Well, it's like calling the kettle cat black. I mean, look at him. He goes out there. He goes out three times a week. I can't keep him at home. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these down randomly. No rhyme or reason. And then my stencil, I think I'll do, I can do it in black on top. Uh, whatever words we want to use. Wouldn't that be neat? Just random paper. Okay. Good. I'm so glad you're here, Lori. This makes me feel real good. Because I know you're liking this. I know it. Can't tell a lie. Okay, so we got some of that down. Let's glue some more down. And if you ever get a page like this, and it gets to be, um, you get too much on it, fear not. <laughs> fear not, for we have gesso. You can always put a little light coat of gesso on top of it, and and it kind of puts a little whitewash on it, but you still see the collar. And then when you put the words on top, we'll do it. I'll show you. It really makes it pop that way. So now I have this beautiful napkin. I love it. It goes so well with the, uh, the collars. I love gluing. Um, I'm, I'm using school glue. I got Elmer's school glue in my jelly jar. And I like tacky glue for those hard items. Like if you're gluing down trim or something and you need a little bit of tacky glue for it to stick, you know, I like the tacky glue and I do have some glue all, but I don't really, I find it's just thicker. It's just thicker than the regular glue. So I add a little water to it. Uh, I do have some other types of glue. Uh, earlier tonight, I was using a glue stick. Glue sticks are not my favorite. But for the um, 
the cluster strips that I was making, it was perfect. So, you know, it just depends on what you need it for. But I usually use Elmer's and I get it by the gallon from Walmart for about, I'm thinking $11 or so. And it's cheaper in the gallon. And then I just fill my jar back up. And you can order it online and they'll ship it directly to your front door. Just saying. Just a saying. And I, I go through the glue, so. And I know that some of the girls use that, um, they call it glitter glue, but it didn't have glitter in it. Now, I don't understand that, but, <laughs> and it, it's in a fine tip uh, bottle applicator. And the only thing I can think of is, is maybe they use it to use it with glitter, you know, when you're decorating with glitter. I, I don't know why the, it's called glitter glue. But uh, I know that Lisi likes it really well. And it's, it's, it's neat. It's a neater way of doing it. And I'm a more of a brush girl. I like to brush things. So I got a little bit of napkin down. So that's good. And I'll, I've got a, a box over here for my scraps, napkin scraps. I don't throw these away. Nope, I don't. We use them. Now, this little thing here, I can cut it in half. It's a piece of fabric. Or I can leave it like that and underline my word. I wonder what word we're going to use. We have smile. We can use them all. We can put them everywhere. And we don't even have to use that if we don't want to. Or I might just put it across the corner like that. Make a little corner design. We'll see. Okay, and then this... And then we got this piece of paper too. So I'm thinking, oh, I've, I've, I've done this before. And you want my lid to that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I've done this before, but um, you take your paper and you punch holes in it. And uh, I just so happen to have a heart punch. So I'm going to punch this a hundred million times. Joe, you want to punch this for me? I was just thinking that. This is a perfect job. Yeah. Joe's going to make me some little heart punches. And I'm going to sprinkle them all over my page. And I don't like this on there. Don't like it at all. But I do kind of like this butterfly. Even though it is, you know, uh, whimsical. Is that a good word? Whimsical. Whimsical. It's like child um, art. And it probably is. So I'm just going to sort of cut some of this out or pull it out. I used a wet brush. To trace around my object and then you just gently tear it out the water uh, the watermark pulls the papers apart and this is a paper towel so it's a little bit thicker than a napkin but it's working so there's my butterfly And I could put it down here. Didn't have to. That's what I'll do. I'll put it down here. Didn't have to be at the top. He's flying around in the garden. Flying around. And I will I'll get a pen 
and finish and fix these dots where he's flying. So there's that. I did that. And I like, I think I'm going to do the edges. going to do the edges in this collar <laughs> I love these little these little square things because um, uh, I use them to ink my edges with them, and I, it, it's just so handy to have. You ink it, you put the lid back on, and off it goes. Perfect. And I've got some more hearts. So I guess I could cut these up and put them down somehow. Some should, way. These hearts should be on red paper. Well, this is a blue page. Oh. Oh. That's the theme we're going to. Blue. Uh, uh huh. It'd be a hot page if it was red. Red hot. Red hot. He's working over here, girls. You hear him? Okay, I got some of those. 250, 260, 270, uh -huh. 280. You forgot the ones in between. Counting by tens. Are you ca are you punching them that have hard? No. That fast? No. Not really. Not really? I'm just teasing. You're teasing. Yep. Teasing? You mm -hmm. teasing us. Don't you get the girl started. Oh my. They'll lay into me like a. You better not be teasing me. They'll get after you. I know it. So, anyway, I'm just randomly gluing down stuff. Uh, these are the negative hearts to some other hearts that I have. And I will be putting them down too. After I get this one down. No rhyme or reason. Just a slapping her on. And we will definitely have to let this glue dry overnight. Because I've got enough on it to choke a horse. But that's okay. We can do that. So I got some of these little hearts too. So I think I'm going to put them on something. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. They look good on there. I don't think that would look good. But they might look good on this. Yeah, we'll just do it. We'll just do it. That's what we'll do. We'll do it. Who's the girl that likes racing race cars? Cheryl. Cheryl, mm -hmm. I, she's not on tonight. Yes, yeah, she is. I didn't see her. Well, now wait a minute. She might be on the couch. Cheryl, are you still awake? <laughs> Cheryl, are you watching, honey? Joe's calling. I got for something you. I want to talk to you about. Cheryl and Joe, here she is. She's there. Okay. Hey, Cheryl, I, I went by the Daytona Speedway you last night. She's yell. She's right here. I don't see her. She's in the chat. <laughs> anyway, Cheryl, I was I went out last night and got a got a bunch of stuff, um, and um, and I was coming back. I had to come back by the racetrack, and the racetrack was all lit up. Daytona Speedway was all lit up, and I said, "Well," and I got closer and I got closer and I started hearing. Ow, ow, ow. Well, they must have. Joe had likes to do sound effects. 
they were having some kind of trial and I didn't know if it was for this weekend or something going on because they was there were about five great big tractor trailer um, cars coming in with in the box the the ones that sit out in the the oval and they they work out of and all that and they were uh, I didn't see any names that I really really meant, you know could tell you that much about them because my car would have probably turned and made a U-turn and followed them where as far as I could do that do it but uh, my truck would have but anyway they were they were um, practicing for something over inside the speedway and and uh, preliminary races maybe yeah some kind of a trial well they have to if they were racing Sunday they have to do a, a, a test run and and uh, get post spot and all that stuff but uh, yeah I, I've, I've, I've really enjoy going there uh, it's a huge place but I hope things get back to normal that it, we can start doing that again and maybe getting you know doing it to um, like it used to be they put so much money in that track oh my gosh of course they'll get it out of it at hundred dollars a ticket yeah they will when it was the uh, tickets for uh, the uh, 24 R um, let's see the racers from, from over in England and stuff the 24 hour speed the tickets just for that were a hundred no were uh, eighty five dollars for one day and I like that too it, it's a, it, it gets it gets into the nighttime and uh, you can sit out and if you get it if you can go inside you can sit on the back of your truck and you just watch them go around that's cool well I, I'm not that's whenever it was open now they they tore the back uh, speedway down. They remodeled. They remodeled the whole speedway, and it's just one whole front stretch. Everything's in the front now. Yeah. It was just too hard to walk around the whole thing. Well, they could they could bring people in the back and go with. That's well, yeah. That's you could drive around the back. They're bringing people in the back to go to the for for the drivers now. Yeah. So they isolated everybody. I guess I just have three hearts. I can't find any more. I've <clears> used <throat> them. I've used But them. I just wanted to tell you that, Cheryl. And you go ahead and take a little nap. I know how it feels when you're deprived from sleep. Well, you know, she gets that afternoon after dinner thing going on. I was wore out when I got home and only been out for three hours. Yeah, but you go hard. Okay. What are you going to do with these little things? <laughs> I know what you're going to do with them. I'm going to have a party. I know. You want me to tell you? I, and you, you have not told me anything, and I know what you're going to do with them. Yeah. You're going to make a tree and make put these on the limbs and the branches and make the leaves out of these hearts. Oh. Hmm. How did I know that? That's a good idea. I thought it was cool. I couldn't think of you you figuring anything cooler than me though. Well, the thing of it is is you told me I might just do it for you. No, that's cheap. Then you gotta you gotta come up with it yourself. <laughs> Okay, I did that. I'm going to put some gesso on it now. <laughs> Cheryl, uh, Teresa's going to be doing some fussy cutting. Okay. So, um, there's Barbara Clark. Hi, Barb. Yeah, Barbara's been here. There's Susan. Norma. Hi, Norma. <laughs> Hey, everybody. If I haven't said hello, say hello. Okay, everybody in the background that's lurking, say hi one time. Get people to say hi. <laughs> say hi to me one time. <laughs> so, here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to get my little tray out. And I'm going to put a little bit of gesso in here. And it's not clean or anything, but I don't, won't mind at all. It won't hurt me a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got some clean water over here. I got a pipette. I'll put some water in my gesso. And then I'm going to take my fan brush and water it up a little bit. I want it to be real thin. And I'm going to kind of go over the entire thing with this. I haven't done, I don't know if I've ever done this or not. I've watched Becky do it. I learned a lot from her. And I think I've watched Mary do this before, but it pushes everything down into the back. And it doesn't make it so uh, bright. And then when I get ready to do my stenciling, it'll pop out. I'm going to put it right here in the middle. I can do more than one. So I'm just kind of dabbing it on here and there. So it's not like I put it everywhere. You know, I'm just dabbing it. A little here, a little there. A little little bit here, a little bit there, everywhere, a little bit. That's the way she does her flower when she cooks. A little on her shoulder, a little over here. Oh, Joe, I do not. I know it. He makes things up. you got to watch him. <laughs> so, who else is hiding in there that said hello? <laughs> Kendra? Hi, Kendra. Hi, Susan. How are you? Renee? They're just in the bleachers. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, here's my page. And I do want to uh, ink the edge. And I had my ink here. Right here. So I'll do that while we're waiting for that to dry. So you see these little things work really, really nice. I do have one of those little applicators, you know, one of these. And then you use the felt on everything. But it's like, and then I can take and put new felt, a, a, a different color felt on here, you know. But this is just so much more easier for me. For me. Then when you drop it on the flag, you get a big old blue square. Nope. Do you see it? Nope. That's the right coffee, honey. Is it good? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like it used to be. Oh, we have been <clears throat> having coffee wars for um, months. So we last well, it's it, it's been going on for years. Because I can remember when we bought, got the first coffee pot, and we were trying out different coffees on what we liked. And then Joe come home one time, and he found this coffee on sale, this other coffee. And I go, well, I said, we'll try it. We'll try it. And then Mom bought everybody coffee for Christmas from Dunkin' Donuts and bought everybody a bag of coffee for Christmas, which was great. And we do like Dunkin' Donut coffees because we we have the refill cups and all that jazz. So we kept saying, no, that's not that's not that's not it. That's not good enough. That we didn't like that coffee. So then he bought. Uh, he kept trying different other different brands, and he tried. He liked the black silk, and he used to have that black oh. silk at work. And all of the guys were drinking black silk. Well, I think it's too. Uh, it's not, too dark. It's, it's too bitter. It's not real acidy on you. And so, ground pea berry coffee. Wow, never had that. Ground pea berry. What's that? What's the the thing look like? 
anyway, so he, we, for Christmas, I bought him a new coffee pot, and it has the little Keurig separate little pot, uh, servings in it and everything. And and I thought, well, he would because he likes specialty coffees. And then I bought him some of those little Keurig, those little one cup things. And then that way I can have my coffee the way I want it, the way I like it, because I'll drink it all day if if it's available. And uh, New England coffee, French vanilla. Mm -hmm. Oh, that might be good. So, um, so anyway, uh, we've been. And I said, Joe, I said, get me the the the. Is it Folgers or Maxwell House? Folgers. Folgers, classic blend. And I said, this is my coffee. This is what I like. And and so he says, okay, I'll get you some the next time after we drink this other coffee up. Well, we've been drinking the coffee, and we've been drinking the coffee, and I was like, oh, I don't like this coffee, man. I just don't, I just don't like it. So I said, Joe, I said, will you buy me my coffee that I want? And uh, and he said, yes, I will, honey. I'll buy it the next time I go out. So he, it's in a red tub. So he buys the red tub, and he got the breakfast blend. Which is not what you And it's not what I wanted. It was the classic. So I said, well, we'll try it. We'll try it and see how it tastes. I might like it. You know, well, it's still not the classic. So here here I have the classic. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now if this uh -oh. is the right coffee or She's not. Done. He bought it for me today. He's going to throw the hammer down. That's a good cup of coffee. Believe me, she knows what a good cup of coffee is because she drinks. If it's good coffee... She will drink two pots a day, easy. No, I, I go through one pot. I can go through. I can go through one pot, but half the, but two or three of the cups usually get cold, you know, and that kind of thing. So oh, that's true. She quick. So, uh, so anyway, I'm going to use. What do you want to use? Smile, hope, life, faith, peace, or dream, or all of them. We could do all of them. Organic Rainforest Coffee from San Francisco. Costa Rica carries. Well, we've got friends. We used to go to Costa Rica. Our church used to go there. Well, still does. They go there every year. And everybody bring back coffee for everybody. <laughs> but I don't like Smile Costa Rica coffee. It's too dark. It's too hard. We used to go through two pods. Yeah. Hazelnut vanilla coffee. That's good. Yeah, we tried that too. I like the specialty drinks. You know, if it's a, like Christmas Eve or something, you know, you're with a bunch of people and you drink a little something special. Yeah, I, that's what I like, Red. I like the French vanilla coffee mate. Yeah. And I like tea. I've always been a teetotaler. So, yeah, I'm a teetotaler too. Really, I am. Deep in my heart, I'm more tea than coffee. But I didn't start drinking coffee until I was like 30 years old. So, it was, I was a latecomer. Okay, so I think I can now, I'm going to take my black paint. And I'm going to try Dragon Glaze Black. and see if I can do it. I might need to do black first because it, it's clear. It's in a black bottle. That's why I picked it up. I'm going to do I'm going to do black first. This is called pavement. <laughs> I want to work for the companies that make up the paint names. I want to work I want to make up paint names. There's one Dr. Nat's <laughs> called asphalt. Yeah. <laughs> But it is. It's a pavement, and it is got a little bit of a gray tint to it. So I've got a little sponge over here, and I use these little kitchen sponges. And if you get them wet on the tips of them, then you can you can use them in your paint. You don't need a little bit of water on it. Is all you need. So uh, so I'm going to uh, what was it? Laugh and smile. What she tell me? Smile and laugh. It was uh, Joyce. I'm looking for you. <laughs> it 
<laughs> Melissa said she la she had a good time yesterday, but she didn't take any notes. Okay. <laughs> Smile and laugh. Okay. Well, Melissa, all that matters is if your cheeks are sore, it means you had a good time, honey. Yeah. I wore I wore out. I was wore out. So here I go. I'm going to try to stencil. Here we go. I might as well get the little smiley face. Smile. <laughs> there it is. Smile because somebody will smile at you. Smile because you need laughter oh somebody a kiss because they need joe's singing to me girls a kiss tell somebody okay there's laugh and i'll and i'll write and so we used our stencil. Kitty. What are you and doing? I just happened to find what did I do with that giant black marker I found the other day? Here it is. Wow. Yeah. That's what we're going to use. Uh, let me see what I got here. Knock okay, anything down. Yeah, buddy. It's a chisel tip. Mm-hmm. Chisel tip. What it is. <laughs> well, what else does our page need? It needs some. I think you can probably quit on the hearts. I'm sorry. <laughs> a long time ago. I can't stop now. Now, what'd you do with all the hearts? I haven't found any yet. Okay. Okay. Bring me. Let me have the machine. I've emptied them out. No, I want them. Well, I emptied them in my little chute. I want to keep them. Well, I know that, honey. I got them right here. Oh, my little square. He threw them out. That's the whole oh, thing. Quit. A dragonfly. I just happened to have a little dragonfly right here. This is er this is Ernie the alligator. You open his jaw and he spits out the hearts. There, you got a place to put these? That, that don't uh, you need to stay for that. I just wanted a few. Yeah. I forgot to tell him to stop. He just kept on going look how many and going. I did. Going and going look, look and going. At, well, I'll use hearts, that on my other my art my other page. How many hearts I punched? He was doing two at a time too. No, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> hun. Oh, oh, for thanks, you, Susan. I love you. You're so sweet. <laughs> is those is those cry cry faces? With the yeah, they're <laughs> laughing and crying. <laughs> I like that. Um, the kids have not eaten anything. Have you fed them at all today? Uh, yeah. You have? Yeah. Oh, that's good. It it was it's like this. I fed Abby. She wouldn't eat, so the cat ate hers. And then <laughs> she she quit eating, and then the, Nora ate the rest of it. Theirs. Abby's crying to go out. And I even brought them, bought them some cookies. Did you? Or did they like it? Abby ate it. She chewed on it. Really? Yeah. She don't eat snacks. Um, well, it wasn't a turkey cookie. It was a, a, a biscuit. Come on, let's go in here. How's that? Now I've got these all these little hearts I was going to try to use, but oh gosh, I'm going to put one on at a time. Let me find me a little brush. 
One at a time. Okay, here we go. I know this is going to be tedious work, but it'll be worth it in the end. A shaker card. There you go, Red. There you go, honey. I know this is taking it going to take a long time, but it'll be worth it. I promise. Each heart was put on with delicate care. This is kind of like diamond painting. <laughs> I think that who who does diamond painting? Lori, are you still in here? This is kind of like diamond painting, don't you think? I'm heart painting. Cool. You still do diamond painting? <laughs> Are you working on a wolf? Ooh. Oh, speaking of diamond painting, I found a diamond painting website. And you know how I like to paint. Uh, and I think, um, well, let me start at the beginning. We have done a couple of painting books, uh, paint along type books. And uh, it's kind of like you paint with a group of people and everybody paints the same picture, you know. And and that's the kind of books that I've been buying. And I have, you know, we did last year. Well, I haven't been able to find, uh, I haven't been out to the bookstore to find me another book that I wanted, that I would like, that I've, you know, can look at and see. So uh, I was thinking, I have painted so many things and every time I paint I end up doing my own thing I, you know I paint I paint the way I want to paint you know in other words I put my own self into it so I found on the internet a um, a diamond painting website and the pictures in the diamond painting website are awesome. So I, I saved the photo onto my photo file and I think that I can paint as these is my inspiration. Uh, I think I can paint that, you know, and just by looking at that. I think I can do that. And uh, different pictures. And these are diamond painting prints. So I, I'm using the pictures. Uh, I'll trace my own picture on my own paper. And this will be my inspiration to, to paint it by. And I can do every one of these pictures. So instead of buying a book, I'm going to use my photo file and paint these. And, you know, the way I've been doing birds and everything lately I think I can do it. I have to practice up on my flowers now. But, uh, and all the different colored birds. and they cute? I know I could do it. And, of course, it'll be my style. And it'll be, you know, it'll be with my my little tweaks in it, you know. And, it, and my colors, you know, I can choose the colors I want. But I think I can paint a lot of these. And uh, the way I do my paint along classes in on my online so as soon as we get done with some of these other books i've still got the bird see this is right up my alley right here i know i can do that i've already done things like that 
So, so anyway, I was inspired by the diamond painting <laughs> websites. <laughs> Isn't that a good idea? I know they're all cute. But, they're, but the pictures are so vibrant, and they were from the diamond painting uh, catalog. And it allowed me to save, you know, save a photo. And I don't think it would be wrong if I were to paint it. I'm not copying it. I mean, I'm not making a copy. I'm painting it. It is, and that'll be my, and that'll be my, my book instead of me buying another book. And I'll just uh, have the photos. So that's 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 what I, I came up with about a week or so ago. Now, where's my brush? So, uh, and I'm sure that you guys will be behind me. I don't think it would be illegal to do that. I know that Mary likes to go to the, the domain sites and... and um, make sure that there's no copyright on it but they're already sketches it's it's not a it's already a sketch and i don't think there would be harm in me painting it i'm painting it i'm not copying it yeah and i'm not doing it for money that's right that's right there you go so can you see the little hearts But uh, I was wanting, you know, some new pictures to paint, and and I and I thought, well, how am I going to get some new from get you know some new material, you know? And I was fishing and looking around, and I found these uh, diamond painting, and I was looking into, and I just looked, was looking at the pictures, and lo and behold, and I was probably looking for a catalog. Uh, the way I do free catalogs, I'm, I'm always looking for free catalogs and then I can cut the pictures out and use them in my little glue books and stuff. I do that a lot too. So, uh, so anyway, I've got a few hearts down. Just a few. And maybe some right here. Okay, that looks good. Can you see the hearts? And I do happen to have a little box up here that I have tiny little hearts already in there. <laughs> And I save my, I save things just like everybody else. Just like everybody else, we save. So I'm going to open this up and dump the rest of the hearts on top. Since Joe was so kind enough to punch them out for me and I will close the lid on my confetti box it's a confetti box buddy that's what it is so we'll save those for another day and put that back up here going to start another Halloween one okay as soon as I get it do you have what do you do with your paintings do you have like a book to put them in or I mean, you can't possibly hang them all on the walls, but I know that people hang them. But how do you do? You get the kind and maybe put them in a book, a big binder or something. How how uh, how do you store your your paintings? Because it'd be cute if it was in a great big book, on the coffee table or something. 
So, what else does this need? What else? Warming up the green chair. Okay. Black splatters. I've got the black. I can do that. They're big, so you lay them flat and after you seal them. Okay. They measure a average of one and a half feet to one and a quarter feet. Okay. Of course, everything gets a little splattered when you do this. Everything in your craft room. Two and a half feet by two feet. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I'm putting that away. Putting this away. I did not use the beet honeycomb. Uh... I didn't use this. The marker. It's a, a household marker. Might be able to do it lightly. Actually, I think I'll use my ink pad. I can do, I can have better control. So this is a, a, a pod holder. It was a hot pad from the kitchen department. And I cut it up for the honeycomb parts of it. And I'm just going to go around and randomly put a few on like that. For interest. Just for interest. And I could put some bees on here. I have bees. But there's not any flowers for them. Well, there's those blue flowers, I guess. And I have some more of that napkin I can put on top. You need a paint sprayer box. Yeah, I do. I understand. I've thought about it. But, you know, so everything up here gets splattered. I don't mind. Where else? Okay, so I've used the, my mark or my paint uh, marking tool, and that was everything out of the box. And and um, I've got a little piece of that napkin left over, so I think. I can I think I'm gonna put it on top because it was so pastel anyway. I don't think it would harm to put another little layers of these on top every so often. And I can just sort of let the end the edges fray. I don't have to who, where did I see that on one of the tags? 
they left the edges up so that it kind of fluttered. I liked that. My word, listening to you, Beth, while she crafts is like listening to your mom read you a story. I just had to crawl under the covers and get comfy. <laughs> you know what? I've heard that before. That Because uh, I like to tell stories and stuff. And I'll sit here and tell a story, a childhood story or something. But now I do like this on top. It's just adding more, 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 more. I, I'm in my element. This is my little world here. And I absolutely am just like loving it. This is my happy place. Maggie Loxley taught me that. Uh, she streams if you don't know who she is. She goes by Mags. And she lives in New Zealand. Can you see it? Is it going to be bright enough? Is that enough? Can I say this is done? It's a calm southern accent. Yep, I know. Yeah, my mom was a teacher. Well, I teach. I, I, I would. I should have been. I should have been a teacher, really, because um, I like to teach and I like to explain things in different ways, so that if you don't understand it one way, then I'll try to explain it another way for you. You know, I'm, I, I go out of my way uh, like that, and I do the same thing with my art. And, and, of course, in my art, in art, there's no right or wrong. Everything is correct. You know, art is art. Art is allowed to be anything and everything. And, and I encourage that. I, I like to encourage that. Okay, now I still have some dragon glaze over here. And I just so happen to have a little tiny tooth, toothbrush, paintbrush. So let's see what we can drag and glaze. Let's drag and glaze it all. I'm going to drag and glaze the, the dragons and the black. This is a, uh, it's clear. It, it, it looks white, but it dries clear. And it gives it, it's got like two or three tones of glitter in it. So when you look at it one way, it looks one color. And then you look at it another way, it looks like another color. And I think that's why they call it dragon glaze. You know how some bugs have a iridescent look to them? Like uh, some of the beetles and some horse flies are like really green looking and, and metallic looking. Well, that's what this will do. So I'm going to touch it on my dragon, my dragonflies. And see how that works. Of course, you, you won't be able to see it until it dries. So I did this uh, this heart first. So I can show it to you in a minute. See if it'll dry a little bit. And and it I can see. I can see the colors. But it's called Dragon Glaze. And I think I got it at Walmart. And I'm sure somebody enabled me to buy it. That I watched. <laughs> Somebody. But it's iridescent. So I put it on kind of thick. But it's just pure, pure, fine, real fine, fine glitter in it. And this is working good. I like it. I like it.
So, Saturday night, okay. I will be on um, Tanya. Tanya should be on tomorrow afternoon if she's if she's well. She has been. Uh, she had a little virus going on the other day, so hopefully she'll be back on her feet by tomorrow. And uh, and sometimes Mary comes on Sunday evenings as an impromptu if she if she's not too tired. I'm afraid the hop might have <laughs> knocked her off her feet a little bit. I know it did me. It was fun. But I'm a thinking, though, I have to talk to Mary about it. If we do the, the way we did it was fine because we all know how to use uh, YouTube. And, uh, and then our video is, is on our video on YouTube. But if she did this through a Zoom, uh, we could, we get, and she was with us the whole time. So uh, there isn't any reason why she couldn't do it with Zoom. And then we get, would come in the, come in the room with her and she could come on or give, she can make us the whole picture or whatever. And then it would all be on Mary's channel and it would all be on one video or at least the morning would be on a video and then the evening would be on a video. And I'm, I'm wondering if that might not be another incentive, but then again, having each one do their own YouTube, people were able to subscribe to you and stuff like that so i don't know because i know i had a couple new girls i've never had 40 in my room before look i got 40 in my room <laughs> 40 <laughs> thanks everybody <laughs> thank you for being here i'm honored to have that many but um i know i'm not for everybody i mean but people like People like watching you do stuff, you know, and and I like to do stuff, and I do a variety of things. So that's one thing about me. I, there's not just one thing. I, I like to do it all. So I do it all. So I'm using the dragon glaze, and it's coming along fine. And I think I I hit all of my dragonflies. I don't see any more. So I used all my dragon glaze that I had out. That's good. So I got this little butterfly down here too. Very nice. So this was an impromptu um, stencil art. A random stencil art. So I'm just going to let this dry. And I'm going to go back over and show you what we did earlier tonight. So this is nice. And what I will probably... Oh, I found something else. We didn't get to use this yet. One moment, please. We have a little pocket that somebody sent me in some Happy Mail. And it's a piece of brown paper. And it looks like it's homemade. It's a little pocket. So I'm going to put a dragon on the front of it. and accent and glue our little pocket down. So there. How about that? And I'm going to glue it down with some tacky glue. Hi, Lisa, Linda. Hi, Linda, honey. Linda is my neighbor, is my mommy's neighbor. Woohoo! Hi, Linda. Saturday night. So I'm going to add that little pocket right there. And then it came with two little 
surprises inside and I'm going to put them back in the pocket. So every time I look at this page, I can look at, look at the surprises. And what I can do is um, kind of glue them, glue them where they're sticking out a little bit by putting just a tad, tad of glue on the end of it there and and poke it in like that and it says smile would you just look at that that's our theme tonight smile so let's see if i can poke that in there where the smile shows and i'm just going to stick this little jar right here just for fun Okay, Cindy's going outside. All right, I'm getting ready to quit here in a little bit, Cindy. So thanks for coming in. Have a good day. That's great. Your baby boy just went back to college. <laughs> Hi, Cayman. Where does he go to school? Thanks, Lori. Yes, it is hard for your baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl is the hostess with the mostest. I tell you, Alabama. Okay, well, welcome. I'm down in Florida. So, Cindy. Good night, Cindy. Honey. Good night for, well, good day. Good day, Cindy. She's down under, and she's going to go work in the garden. Yes, she does. Cheryl rocks. She's my right hand, and Teresa's my right hand, the other right hand. Teresa had her kids in all last week, and they left for Michigan, had to go back to Michigan. Okay, you want to see some Nouveau? Well, <clears throat> I can handle that. So anyway, what I like to do is on the opposite page, this one here, I like to accent it. And don't spend a lot of time on it, but I like to, I like for it to uh, blend and look good and um be a part you know uh, when you open the page i want it to blend so cheryl suggested i show you some of my nouveaux and i have these nouveau uh, mousses and um they're pretty cool they are pretty cool so uh i used one earlier with the stencils uh and now I'm going to show you how you can put it on, on paper with a wet brush. And I, that's what I did the other day. I used a wet brush and I painted with it. So I'm going to get a nice clean brush. And I just happen to have one right here. Brand spanking clean. And uh, it's clean, even though it's a little stained. So I'm just going to go right into my Nouveau. And this is an embellishment mousse. And it's kind of got a buttery flavor to uh, a buttery uh, feel to it. You can use it with your fingers. And you can rub it on with your fingers as well. And uh, so I'm going to use this brush and see how it goes down. And it's real shiny and iridescent. So it does move around with water and my brush is wet. It, uh, I, I dabbed off the excess water and left a lot of the water up in the brush on the brush so that I can spread this Nouveau out. And it's, it's a, it's a Nouveau, N-U-V-O, and I love it. I've never had anything like it before. So, uh. I just got it last last week, so I'm trying to to add it in my art every day if I can because I want to use it up. Don't want to sit and waste it. 
because it will dry out if you don't use it. And you and I'm keeping a piece of cellophane on it when I close the lid so that it will help keep the moisture in it. And I am thinking since we since it's water soluble, I can probably put a little moist sponge in there. And I think that's what I'll do when I next time I go to the Dollar Tree, I'm going to get those makeup pads, those little round makeup sponge things and and just moisten it with some clean water and just not not drippy but leave it moist and then lay it right on top and then i think that will help keep it the life of it pretty sure it would work so anyway i love it so you can use it with a palette knife and stencil with it and it leaves a texture it has some kind of a powdery agent in it that uh leaves a thickness when you use the stencil and and then it and then it leaves a, a, a you can feel it texture so that's what i did for this side of the page now i think i will use my glue and we'll go back to my fan brush and we'll go back to my water and i have a little bit of leftovers over here <laughs> and i'm going to use it over here so joe joe did me all that so i'm going to i'm going to put it down on this page but it see it blends it's going to go with my my art page just saying and this is random random art i love it Mixed media. So, nothing goes in the trash around here. Not much. <laughs> but see, I love that. It's abstract, and I just love it. And then I had some more papers left over from earlier <clears throat> from the tag show. I'll show you the tags here in a minute. Piece of puzzle. Another piece of paper. And then we can put a, a word on this if we want to continue as in our page, um, I've got some words over here I'll get out. So there we have an abstract art page left over and it goes with the pages. So I can save that for later. I can save that for later. Use this. You have to be careful with the napkins. You'll tear them up. Have to push lightly on the napkins. Random. Just random. No rhyme or reason. Hurry up. You're wasting time. Put it down. Don't think. So what color did you use your hair? Is it is it just a is it a pretty blonde or you are amazing? I'm amazing. Hi Mary. What did I do? I'm just gluing down some scraps. Who 
it's wild. <laughs> oh, you got a lot of rain, Mary? Okay. Okay, so I got my scraps done up. I've got some napkins. I never did use the ribbon, so it's going in my snippet jar. Because we're not going to waste it. I did have a little tiny piece of gauze. And, yep, it's going right there in the middle. Yep, that's it. So, I've got a word. Let's find me a word. I've got some words already printed out up here. Let's see what we can find. I'll let you all pick it out. We got efficient, effortless, electrifying, elegant, enhancing. Hmm. Auburn. Okay, like a copper penny. Oh, how nice. Goodbye, Jilly, honey. I'm getting ready to, to sign off too here. Good night, honey. I'm winding down. So I just need to pick out a word. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Elegant. Okay. If that's what you want. We can do it. Okay, so there's our art page. We did an art page, a stencil, a stencil page, and a leftover page. I love that. That way I don't have to worry about saving anything. I've used it all. It matches. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. How you doing, Linda? You doing okay? Rebecca! I just got finished using my moose. We moosed it. <laughs> we just got finished using the yellow moose. Do you put um do you put cellophane over your mooses? Rebecca's the one who who uh uh enabled me to buy this. It's all Rebecca's fault. It's all her fault. Uh, Teresa was telling me that she said it dries out really bad, and you don't. Okay, but it seems to be reenact. It it, uh, it it reacts with water. <laughs> yeah, we're the moose ladies. So anyway, I've got uh, eight eight of them now. Rebecca, they had them on sale for three ninety nine. I couldn't re pass it up. <laughs> well, if you go on if you go on Amazon, you can get it I think for 4.99. But if you go straight to Tonic, straight to this Tonic Studios, if you buy so much you get free shipping, and I got them for 3.99. Bargain City. 
So I splurged and bought me a few things because I haven't been buying a lot. So I just bought it was it was just forty dollars. So I did really good for for those. I think I did great. I think I, I hit hit the nail on the head. Oh gosh, I'm an enabler. So anyway, I'm gonna we're done with this and I think I will sign it. It's dry down here, so I can sign it. And it's going to be a stencil art. We'll, we'll name it for what it is. I just saw a pencil the other day. Come here. No, not that one. Well, I'll try this one. Stencil art. Okay. That's what it is. Now, the only thing about this page, it needs to be framed. Well, I tell you, I got my binders at the Goodwill, you know, for 50 cents. And they're not really expensive, I don't think, anyway. And uh, and then I ha did have to buy my page protectors. And I had the cardstock to put in the middle, a page. And then you just put your stencils on each side. So it's easy to do. It's fun. It was fun. I couldn't get it in there fast enough. So, yeah. I like that framed so much better. That looks so much better. Let me show you. It just frames it. So, I'm going to put this over to try, and I'll show you what else we did tonight. <coughs> that we did we did our cluster strips we did cluster strips so these are dry i'm going i've got my sewing machine right behind me i, I won't take me a second to do this and i'm going to zigzag it down the middle we finished our glue books so they're going to go into the basket of books The missing heart. Thank you. <laughs> it is. It's the missing heart. Thank you. I've used I used them on another project, and I thought, well, maybe I I dropped it on the floor, and I, there's probably stuff on the floor too. Here's a couple of tags that I started. Uh, and I think I'm still going to work on them some more. I think I'm going to put a button right there. I got a button drawer right here. Oh, yeah. Let's cut them apart. Button, button. Who's got the button? Red Rover, Red Rover, why don't you come over? Put that right there. Use my tacky glue. That'll take all night to dry, and that'll be fine. And I guess I'll put the heart right there. Thank you. So I found the heart. It's on the tag. I don't mind. Don't bother me where I put it. And this one, uh, what does it need? I 
can glue a little wooden button up there. It's got a bird on it. Okay. So let me sew these up and we'll be done with these. And I'm going to uh, probably, uh, I think I'm going to put one in each of the tag box bags for you guys. I think. I'm pretty sure I will since I said it. Kind of, I kind of keep my promises. So all I have to do is plug in the, the sewing machine and it will, it's ready to roll. It won't take me. It didn't take me long last night either. It's on. Ready to roll. One moment now. Hang in there. I just sitting on the turn my chair around. Here we go. I'm done. All done. So, these are my instant cluster strips. And so, what my plans were is to store them in a bag like this as, as I make them. But when you get when you get one and you you think oh I need a piece of cluster and then boom here's your piece of cluster for your can for your artwork done you don't it's it's already sewed you know that kind of thing and then and then these extras will go into the uh, bag so that's that was my idea of cluster strips the the girl that made them online she rolled them up and made a cluster roll like a snippet roll and i think i would rather have mine stored flat so i have a box with clusters clusters in it i got paper and you start off with just one strip of paper and you start gluing down your little pieces of papers and things you start gluing them down i'll make one i got time and i like to use uh, a family family use for this purple glue stick <laughs> i never did like the purple because i didn't like the color showing but it, it does fade away it fades away so you put a little bit of glue down and then you find some papers to put down on here. There's Snoopy. Put him on there. Some funny, the funny papers is good. Is a good thing. I've got Braille. And I like it hanging off the edges. And I like to use about three or four layers of items. So I just go down the middle of it again and add some more. This is a mulberry paper from Candy. Thank you very much. I love it. So we got some mulberry paper on there. And some vintage papers. And you can put as much as you want or as little as you want. Here's some children's pages from the children's book. And I've got mother's pages on here. A little bit of my mom on here. Like that. 
I've got some regular book pages. I've got some dictionary pages trimmed in blue. So that'll be cute. Nora's scratching on the door. She wants to go in with Joe. <laughs> She's going to make him get up. <laughs> she scratched on the door for her to let her in. <laughs> she's so cute. She's she's a different bird. So then, after I do all of that, uh, and you think you got enough on there, you can maybe add some uh, string to it. I've got some uh, embroidery thread. And I could add it on here too. And and uh, add some thre thread on here just for, I don't know, just for just because. Is that good? And, uh, I can sort of tack it down a little bit. Maybe it makes too much of a mess and you don't want it on there. I don't know. You could wrap it around it. You can just go this way. There we go. Now we're talking. So I got a little bit of thread on there. And if you want, you can add something else that's funny, like a piece of doll paper, paper dolls. And then I like to let it dry before I run it through the, the sewing machine because I don't want the wet glue to get on my needle and mess things up underneath. So I'll let that dry. And then there's a snippet strip, a cluster strip. So that's how I do it. So that's that. And then we did make two um, tags, uh, envelope tags, and I'll show you those. We had kind of a busy night tonight catching up. So we did, this is my tag book, and let's see if I can see the ones. We did this one tonight. Got a tag. Cute. I like it. And then we, we put some extra goodies inside there. We got some extra goodies. So that was one tag we did. And then the other tag was this one here. And it's got a little tag in there. And it's got uh, some goodies in it as well. A few little goodies. Surprise. So we did those two tags tonight. So... Yeah, uh, Rebecca streams Monday through Fridays at about 10 o'clock Central, 11 o'clock Eastern. Is that right, Rebecca? If you guys want, a lot of y'all stream. So if y'all want to mix, uh, exchange your times and dates that you stream, go ahead and post it now. Uh, I try to catch Rebecca if I'm up. <laughs> Sorry, Rebecca. <laughs> She knows I sleep in. <laughs> I sleep in. Oh. I've been to her channel, Teresa. I go everywhere, but I'm returned to the channels of the peeps who come in the bubble. You know, oh, I know what you mean, Jersey. I understand. 
And when do you stream Jersey? What times do you stream? <laughs> Rebecca, is it 10 o'clock Central? She's in Texas. Teresa had computer problems this morning. She couldn't get into to Lori's channel. She taught her, her groups are the bubbles. I only stream impromptu. Okay. Okay, Lori. Well, I, I hit the bell, so I should be getting your bells. I see. That's great, Laura. That's good to know. I'll, I'll share it. And it is, it's hard to, it's hard to visit everybody's streams. Um, I, sometimes I, I pop in for just a few minutes and then if, if I have to leave, I have to leave. But you know, if there's just, we all have things that go on. Lord it says doesn't work for her lifestyle or her personality. Good for you. You have people that want to join the Facebook group. I have a Facebook group. You are allowed to post your art in my group. I lo I'd love for you to post your art in my group. The only thing I don't I don't I not trying to be mean or anything, but I don't sell. If you all sell, that's fine. Uh, tell tell everybody that you sell things and to come on over. But I don't I don't plaster the the selling things. I don't want I don't want um, because I if I did that all over my Facebook page, I'd have everybody in blue blazes in there saying, "Come to my sale, come to my auction, come to this, come to that," and they're just using me. For to you know, they're just using me to get people to buy from them, and that's not what I'm about. I'm all about the art. So you can post your art until you're blue in the face, but you're allowed to share the information. I will let you share share it in here. You can tell everybody what you do and what you want to do, because we had the um, the dis the disabled folk uh, auditions. People were doing it. And uh, I've donated to it, you know, and I'm all for it. But I usually, I'm usually a frugal crafting type of person. And I, I do more giveaways. And that's another thing. It's hard to, it's hard to sell when I give it away, you know. Uh, yeah, we're goofy too. It's, <laughs> are you trying to learn something from me? <laughs> oh, no, I'm far from grown up. Hey, Cheryl has to call me down. Cheryl has to tell me. She will message me and say, Beth, slow down. <laughs> That's what I did to you, Laura. I said, be calm, slow down. You're doing a great job. And, you, and she says, are you kidding me? I can't slow down. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, hi, Janice. Okay. Okay. All right. I will. Okay, sweetheart. I will. I'll wait until I get both of them, Janice. Thank you. I did open up four tag, tag envelopes this, uh, on the front of the uh, video this evening if you want to roll back and see who sent me tags from the girls. I went through each one of them. So, uh, but I'm, I'm easy to get along with and I'll, I'll agree to just about anything if you all want, you want to do it, but I have to, I have to sort of keep my boundaries. Okay, Rebecca, good girl. I know you've been working on them. Oh, so when you see a mushroom, you need to put the, Okay. Teresa, Cheryl, did you hear that? <laughs> I get so excited sometimes. My adrenaline goes out the roof. I get so excited. And, and they know when I'm excited when I go, oh, boy, 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 boy. <laughs> they, 
they love it when I share joy. I I do. I get I get a euphoria from it. Okay, share the mushrooms. Teresa, uh, Cheryl, did you get that? Did you understand? L Laura said that some of her moderators put a mushroom in the chat to tell Lori to calm down. <laughs> Slow down. I do. They love it. They love it. They love it when I clap. I, I'm bad about chat too. Cheryl, Cheryl says, Beth, go back and read chat. She's Cheryl is really my mom. She's my, she keeps me in line, you know, and Teresa, she supports me and she does all my tech techie stuff. I don't pay attention to chat enough either. Good night, red honey. Bye. We'll see you next time. I'll be back on Tuesday. Yeah, and Cheryl does too. She she'll send me. I keep my I keep my iPhone right here, so when I get a message, uh, I check the name. Yes, Cheryl Cheryl helps me out a lot, and and they remind me when I forget because I my mind is is only about that long. My mind is short, short, and I and I'm sorry, girls, but I'm I think I'm going to have I'm going to have the memory issues. When I get a little older. Yeah, they do too. Treat, Cheryl says, she tells me to read the chat. I know. I never did find that poem yesterday. She wrote me a poem. Moderator at MERS too. That's good. That's good. But I tell you, it's it's a lot of fun. And I, and I, this is my joy. This is my highlight of the week. It's when I come on, be with you guys. Good night, Mary. I'm getting ready to sign off, too. We're just chit-chatting. Yeah. Yeah, we like our Cheryl. <clears throat> Thank you, Gail. You're welcome, honey. You're welcome. You did a great job on your tags today. They were really cute. So I can't wait to get some more in. I can start trading. But I want to do it all at once when I do the trade. Uh, when I, I'll have your address, your envelopes all made up, and and right beside your tags will be your envelope. That way, I won't put your tags in your envelope. I will. I'm going to. I will. I'm going to rest. I'll probably sleep all day tomorrow. Forty-two thumbs up. Are you serious? Well, there's one more. I'll give myself a thumbs up. I it was How do you get it to update? Thank you, guys. Lori. Thank you, Lori. Joe's talking to his mother. He's talking to his mom. He calls her every day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just did mine and you did yours. <laughs> and and all that does is uh, that when you do your thumbs up, all it does is you it tells YouTube that you like this kind of a show. So when they give you a recommendation, they know to put a craft show in there. That's all it's used for. It's not used for anything else except what you like to see. So when you get a thumbs up, a thumbs down, you're just saying, I don't want to see another one of these type of shows. So they won't send you a recommendation for it no more. That's all it's for. Bye. Good night, Joyce. <laughs> I'm going to go. I know. So really the thumbs ups is, is just to let, let YouTube know that you like more shows like this. So that they can put those in your commercials. Mm -hmm. Good night, Norma. <laughs> yes, he does. He loves his mommy. I'm going to go have me a little bit of chicken noodle soup. Um, 
That's right. Now, I don't know what that word means, but I do know what popularity means. <laughs> Lori, you're too smart for me. Good night, Suzanne. Love you, honey. Good night, Candy. Good night, Carmen. Good night, John Boy. <laughs> All right. We had a good time. Thank you. And uh, I'll be back Tuesday if if the everything's if we're still here, I'll come back. So if you need anything, message me. If you haven't got your tags out, get them done tomorrow and get them in the Monday mail. Oh, really? <laughs> does he do crossword puzzles? I bet he does. Good night, Candy. Good night, Cheryl. Come again. Yep. At 6.30 Eastern. I'll be back Tuesday. That's right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Everybody saying good night. All righty. Good night, everyone. Way to go, back. <laughs> good night, Melissa. I'm going to have to draw another horse. I found an, I found another horse. Melissa likes horses. He teaches calculus. Wow. He's, he's a number dude. Let him do the taxes. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm out of here. So, I've unplugged my iPad. I only got 20%. <laughs> have a good day tomorrow T come and watch uh, Tanya Tanya will be on hopefully she'll be okay to come on good night